case. Hello! Uh, I am Master! This is going on YouTube. So, um, this is my second stream of this game. Um, but, the reason that I'm going to- I'm, I'm gonna replay the beginning. Because I, uh, this is the real stream! Womp womp. Um, I'm re-recording the beginning because, um, the last time I played this game was my first stream, like, ever. And, um, the VOD didn't save. Um, so, just a warning that, like, for the first hour or so, things won't surprise me. Um, but after that... Because <laughs> it looks like this game is gonna be pretty long anyway, so... Notice that... Also, I want to, I want to give a warning that this game has flashing lights, and, um... Yeah, this, this game has flashing lights and is a horror game. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Um, so. Anyway, new game. Also, we're playing in English. English audio. Once upon a time in the heart of a remote valley, an elderly woman ventured deep into the woods in search for mushrooms. When all of a sudden, she heard a loud cry in the distance. My goodness! Cradled inside a rope basket was a cheerful baby girl. Oh my, what do I do? Worry not, my dear. I'll name you Elise. And so, Holly and Elise spent their days together in the village of Kieferberg. As both grew closer, so did their love for one another. Look, Granny, look! <laughs> well done, Elise. Not all bliss lasts forever, and as time went by... So did Holly's. I'll take care of you! I'll do whatever it takes, Granny! Don't cry, my love. You've always said you wanted it. I'm sure you'll cherish it. <laughs> Granny! I love you, Elise. Thank you for granting my only wish. Your narration voice suits the music really well. Thank you! All right. For goodness sake, there goes my last match. I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, Elise. Sweep my floors, Elise. Elise, Elise, Elise. Oh, I showed them. I'd make them scrub my pots and pans, my shoes even. Have them wipe down all my windows, every last one. Clean on my hearth, then fetch me some water. Better yet, I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elise all day. Oh, if only I were rich. All the steak I could ever want! All the shiny dresses! One for each day of the week with shoes and jewels to match! And maids, all the maids I could ever want! Oh, if only... Oh, one can dream. Elise! Oh, for goodness sake! On your way home, lass? 
What are you doing wandering about in the dark, Elise? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wandering about, Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you'd so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in danger, Elise. If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you! I'd be home already had you not stopped me for an earful. Uh, come now, Elise, we've got good reason to worry. All this vigilance, and for what? What am I to be afraid of, the witch? But watch your words, Elise. You're not to question such matters. What do you say we walk you home? I believe I'll be just fine on my own, Mr. Heinrich. No more detours, Elise. It's for your own good. Lest I come across the witch, I know. Let's hope you don't come to regret your words, lass. I can't stand these folks. Find your way home. So I already know the way. Oh, the music is so beautiful. Oh, and that animation is so cute. <laughs> This pine tree bad. Everything's about pine trees around here. By the way, I y'all, I did figure out what's up with like the VHS tape thing. So whenever you skip text, um, the VHS effect appears over the game. And sometimes I will do that where like, um, because it's it's the same button to um start skipping text as it is to sprint. So sometimes I'll like go into sprinting from text and the VHS um, effect will appear. For goodness sake! <laughs> it's impossible to keep this lantern lit in this wind! Guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. Save often. So we're gonna, um, cause Astro's playing this on a VHS tape for immersion. I know! <laughs> Alright. Uh, we'll just save over the past saves. We didn't do anything different. What in the Lord's name? What happened here? I ought to find my matches! Find a tinderbox. Woo! <laughs> what? What was that thing? I, was I dreaming or? What was I thinking leaving it here? Got our tinderbox. Cool. Now to light the fire now. Control use lantern. Cool. Yeah, we don't need to waste the lan uh, matches though. It's dark in the house, but it's not that dark. Audio level seemed nice on AirPods. Sans the stream alert explosions. I'm so sorry. Um, what do you mean? Does it seem to be working? Ah, oh, okay. Too used to like midnight train, which makes you makes you reach into the menu to do anything. Anyway, oh, good grief! What if it was that witch the townsfolk have been going on about? Keep it together, Elise. It was definitely a burger, burglar. <laughs> a burglar. That said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. And clipped. Thank you. <laughs> I'll go watch it later. <laughs> All right. Find the burglar. Are we in the right place? Yeah. Little goody make two shoes, please. <laughs> the 
here you are, you! Shameless thief! Give me back all you took! Right? Now! Wait, please! Please forgive me! Out with it! The noise! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just listening to it. Alright. Explain yourself, you wretch! What were you doing in my house? Wait, please don't hit me! I was just hiding. There were these men, and I... I won't ask you a second time, thief! Hurry it up! Give me back everything you took, right now! I didn't take anything! I was just scared, please, I beg of you! Show me your hands! Oh, but I... I didn't take anything, ma'am. Now show me your pockets and make it quick! I keep telling you I didn't steal anything, ma'am. This is all I have, I swear. Coins and weeds. What are you doing up here in the mountains? Oh, I'm a, a traveler, ma'am. Uh, uh, turn around. She actually does a little spin. You say you're a traveler. Are you, are you all by yourself? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm traveling alone. Oh, uh, Aru's voice is so cute. <laughs> um... Aru, who does the voice for um, this girl, this is Rosemary. Um, I, I I knew her name. Um, Aru does the voice for Rosemary and another character called Muffy in this game, and we're like friends, mutuals on Twitter. It's still kind of cool to hear her voice, though. I hoped I could rest for the night in this village, but I saw some people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Be that as it may, you're still. Oh, please forgive me, ma'am. I didn't mean to make such a mess. Would you stop calling me that? I'm sorry. Oh. For goodness sake. <laughs> I, I don't have much to do now, do I? All right. Well, I might let you go. If you can prove your innocence, that is. I don't know what else I can do, ma'am. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. And then you can... Mia? I did it! Yes, that's it! A maid! All right. Listen carefully now. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you can f clean my whole house from top to bottom. That'll teach you not to go storming into strangers' homes. Sorry, I... Mia. Uh -huh. Complaining already, are you? Wouldn't you agree this is the least you can do? Oh, yes. uh, of course. I'll gladly do it, ma'am. <laughs> Good. And in exchange, I suppose you could stay here. But no more thieving! I'm not a thief, ma'am. I'll be ju judge of that, thank you very much. Why am I tripping up so much on a lease? Anyhow, you work for me, and I'll give you a place to stay. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? It does sound fair, ma'am, and it is very kind of you, but... I'm not a thief! Fine, you're not a thief. Now, would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? You don't, I apologize. All right. My name is Elise, and you'd best remember it. Yes. I'm so sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Selenic Wanderer. Wanderer of the Moon. Rosemary. <laughs> My name is Rosemary. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elise. For goodness sake. Just Elise is fine. Come now, you have a lot of work to do. Yes, yes of course. I have a lot of nostalgia for this um, sort of game because this um, I played Pocket Mirror on my channel as well when I was um, a bit itty bittier than I am now. <laughs> and um, I remember going through Pocket Mirror was an experience kind of similar to what I'm doing now where like I listen to the voices that are provided in the game and I try and like imitate them but also give it my own spin anyway how could you even do all this look at my floors I'm sorry the granny's plates shattered to pieces what are you a wild boar I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls Alright, well, uh, you know what you did? Anyway. 
Anyhow, here, take this. Make certain you get into every nook and cranny, you hear? Yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney and clean out the fireplace, too. Oh, and wipe that stain off my wall and wash all my windows. Right. I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow, understood? Of course. For and I told you to quit calling me that. Come now, let me show you to the well out the back. Oh, but I... I can do it myself, Elise. Anything to make up for what I've done. Look here, Lassie. I have no good reason to trust you. I didn't mean to. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. Dare to cross me even once and I'll be having a word with the townsfolk. Are we clear? Yes, Elise. I'm sorry, I'll... I'll do my best. Be careful not to wake me either. I have Sunday Mass to attend tomorrow. I'll keep quiet. Good night, Elise. Go to bed. Who's your favorite girl and why is it everyone? No, literally, they're all so cute. Ah. When he's going in pantry, there's nothing to eat in this house. What does she have to say? It's best I leave her be. I just gave her quite the earful. Aster just loves women. The only man she loves is Fen. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's me in a nutshell. Is something the matter, Elise? No, it's nothing. I love the vocals in the soundtrack. They're, they're like magical. Oh, let's turn the lantern off. I just realized it's been on the whole time. Oh, now you've done it, Elise. There's hardly a need to be that harsh, but still. What if she's dangerous, or worse even, what if she's the witch the townsfolk have been talking about? Oh, what would Granny Holly do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. Even threatened to tell on her, too. What's done is done, I suppose. I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best I go to bed. We're a little tired. We need to eat. Mm, morning already? Uh, can't be late for Sunday mass or father- <gasps> You can't be serious! Oh, what the hell? Oh, let's turn off auto. I just realized. Alright. Uh, I know all this already. Um... I didn't realize that auto was on, I'm sorry. She's probably taken everything already. Oh, lighting engines. <laughs> oh, or maybe not. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but... Hey! Rose and Marine! Was that her name? I can't believe she tied it up and left just like that. Didn't even give her anything to eat last night, the poor thing. Mm. Now, where could she have gotten to? I think at this point, Elise is just getting my, like, my natural voice, but a bit softer. She's probably back here again, I think. Oh, also, something else that I heard about this game. Um, all of this is hand-painted. Like, all of the backgrounds hand-painted. Stunning. Rose and Marine. For goodness sake. There you are, you! Elise. Oh. <sighs> Honestly, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. I hate it when I let someone stay at the night and they get my entire home life in order. So annoying. Can't believe that shit. I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but... I was afraid I'd get lost in the dark. Uh, never mind, come with me now. Sorry, I... Are you taking me to the village? <gasps> Who do you take me for, some wretch? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment. I, I didn't mean to be such a brute, truth be told. Sorry. For what I did too. Oh, I got it, all that's dead and buried. Now come, I'm running late for Sunday Mass. Yes. Uh, wait for me, Elise.
Bring Rosa and Marine home. That is such a gay sentence. Flock. Flock. Flock? Fluffy companion, who only has one eye. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so relieved to see you. <laughs> Where have you been? You know this goat. <laughs> of course. We met on the way to Kieferberg. We've been together since. <laughs> yes, we were. We were. <laughs> oh, he's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? The cuddliest little thing, you say. Anyway, I had to get going. Wouldn't want to be late for Sunday mass. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back in a moment, Flock. Hmm. I have to say, you did a decent job tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to. Oh, I'm so glad. I wanted to assure you I meant no harm, Elise. Kept me up for hours last night thinking you'd... Oh, I get it already, no need to tell me! Here, have some bread, you must be hungry. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Elise, you really are too kind. For goodness sake. <laughs> you do remember I hit you with a broom, right? Called you a thief, made you do my bidding and whatnot. <laughs> Most folks would have tossed me out right the moment they saw me, but you didn't. Hmm. I suppose I didn't? Anyhow, I'm heading out. Don't wander about and don't make a mess! Uh, of course! I won't, Elise. Alright. Alright, romantic date for later, so... Um, yeah, we're gonna go on the date again. I am very in love with Rosemary. <laughs> uh, before you go, Elise... Hmm? I have something to tell you if... You could come meet me later today. What's keeping you from telling me now? Uh, well, it's important, so I'll be in the back by nightfall, all right? Uh, for goodness sake. It best be worth my mi my while, you hear? Uh, I promise it's nothing bad. We'll see about that. Look at her sweep! I'm sorry, the animation is so cute. <laughs> I also vastly appreciate that the little UI shows up if you, like, sit idle for too long. Look at her go! Alright. She's so cute! Save your progress? Yes. Uh, the animation is so cute, just like you know everything. No, literally! I'm so glad you understand. Alright. We're gonna romance, uh, as much of the girls as we can. We'll get an earful from Father Hans if I don't hurry up. I already know how the map menu works. Open map. Alright, we're done. I understand. Shit. Oh, the music is so lovely. In general, this game is very, very beautiful so far. Like, visually, it's just stunning. And the controls are very simple, too. Like, this is, um, this is definitely my type of game. <laughs> Part of why I wanted my own stream, so I could, um... So I could play these sorts of games without having to be like, Hey, my man. There you are, Elise. Come here, why don't you? Oh, that's right, I could skip this. This is a 100% Aster game. Literally, this is my type of game. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to do here. Let's get, uh, let's get some bread. 
And now we are flat broke. See ya, Granny. Keep yourself well fed, you hear? Goodness, Elise, you look dreadful. Money to you too, Miss Bertha. I wasn't certain you'd come today, Elise. Oh, well, why wouldn't I, Miss Odalie? My Elise, you do look quite tired. Couldn't catch a wink, I'd wager. Frightening, wasn't it? Almost been dreadful up in the mountains. Oh, what was? Oh, for goodness sake, Elise! Did you not notice the state Kieferberg is in? There was a frightening windstorm last night, Elise. Swept through the alleys, nearly ripped some roofs off. Even mine was covered in dead wood. That was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. How so, Odalie? Oh, I've about had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland, that's what. Oh, Odalie, it's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You'll see, Marielle. All I can see is we're running late for mass. Oh, goodness, what does keep for book come to? After you, Elise. The woodland, huh? That's right, there was that weird note that we never really went to investigate. <laughs> Yeah, that little pink note. Elise! Good morning! Freya! Oh, she's so cute. Why are you always so cheery, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. I didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, me neither. And all because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Your sprig? <laughs> I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, see? Sniffing it helps me sleep better. And it leaves such a lovely... Shh, keep quiet, you two. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mr. Wilhelm. <laughs> We'd best focus now, Elise. You. You're the one wittering on, Freya. Mass Effect 2007. Yes, I loved Pocket Mirror. Ah. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed Saint Valperga take heed of our prayers. Amen. Mm. This Saturday, we will once again be celebrating our patroness, Saint Valperga. As you all know, preparations for the festivities are already underway. Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I am w aware of what transpired last mm. night. Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying times. Let us trust St. Malpurga to guide our people and keep Kieferberg out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. masterpiece so real <laughs> how much did I miss from this re-recording not much took all you had to get out of bed this morning I'd wager lab sugary devotees you. very funny lead cool hen jokes aside Elise don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday mass I'm certain the Lord couldn't care less, so why should you? <laughs> You're briling me up on purpose again, Leb. Can you tell? For goodness sake. <laughs> I'd best get to work now before it gets late. Later, Don't forget to come about later, Elise. <sighs> I won't, I won't. Unlocked relationship menu. You had a funeral for a bird, huh? Unlocked relationships menu. Brilliant. Alright. Um, uh. Oh, that's how we do it. Alright, so we've got a lot of suspicion right now. Rose and Marine, Freya, and Lev. Alright. Uh, so last time we went on a date with Leb, 
Um, I'd like to go with Freya this time. Let me see if we can do both. Couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Could you? Didn't sleep a wink. Explains the hilarity. You're hopeless, Lev Kuhen. As long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. Bread. Pretzel. Brilliant. Oh, you brought me my favorite! Mr. Bernhardt said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told you Mrs. Elna worked me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Mr. Bernhardt was fretting over you is all. Mr. Bernhardt could find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are so stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, uh, it's about time I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. <laughs> I'll be there, Lev. Cool. This game is basically BG3 when you think about it. No, literally. I've not played BG3. <laughs> Please, uh, can I pick it up? There we go. Alright. Yeah, so we saw this already. Alright. Hallowed be thy name, Saint Valperga. Uh, we will investigate the notes further later. For goodness sake! Thank goodness that's over! What a bore! I think I'll have to work all day until the evening. Each day has six time periods, but only three are working periods. Morning, afternoon, dusk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, Elise, I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. Ointment. Brilliant. Thank you. You mentioned your hands were feeling dry, right? Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I use it right before bed every night. It does wonders for the skin. I put a little lavender in there, too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, silly. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, you see? You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? <laughs> so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, I'd best move along before it gets late. Say, Elise, I was wondering. I'm gonna pick some flowers this afternoon up in the mountains. Flowers? I thought maybe you might care to join me, if you'd like. Alright, I'll be there, Freya. Huh? That's wonderful! Have a nice day, Elise. I'm having a hard time differentiating... Um, what's gotten into her? Girl! But anyway, um... Save your progress? Yes. So we haven't made any... big... progress yet? Um, so, all right, so we have, um, two, so we have to do work today, which is, yeah, we sh yeah, that's the only thing available to do right now is work. Um, let's do some mini games. I know how this works. All right, all right. I'll I'll get you some apples. How many apples do these folks need anyhow? I'm doing the same thing as yesterday, just because I. I'll do other mini games later, though. It's raining apples. I want to get a better score than I did last time. <laughs> ah. I 
All right, what was my score? Oh, round two. I'm on lunch now. Hello. I'm gonna try and get a better score on this than I did yesterday because I got frustrated because I only got a B. again? Nah. I did better. You win. Oh, yesterday I only got a pass. My Elisa's will do perfectly. Here you go last for your trouble. 40, that's more than yesterday. I was rather generous this time. You'd best appreciate it. Certainly, Miss Elma. Not even S rank. Hush you. Alright, so we've got two dates available. We can only do one, which is unfortunate. But, um, so yesterday we did Leb Uh Today we're gonna do Freya's. So, uh, Freya's at the viewpoint. The window? Hmm. Alright, uh, I don't actually know where to find her. Because, I mean, the viewpoint sounds like... Hmm. What's this? I heard it was a whole ordeal to get this grindstone down the hill. Can, can we talk to this girl? Oh, Elise! You don't look so good, Miss Dorothea. Have you seen Miffy by any chance? I have to make sure she's doing her daily reading. She's awfully behind. No, I haven't. Have you tried asking Miss Lorelei? Yes, I was told she was sent to the well for water, but she's not there. Oh, Elise, I can only pray she's all right. She does wander off quite often, doesn't she? Won't you please tell her if you see her? That's it? All right. Uh, so this is more work. We don't really want to do work right now. We want to see Freya. Hmm. So we're in the village square now. I noticed there's a heart icon, which I did not see before. There it is. The viewpoint. All right, let's go there. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me, let me, there we go. <laughs> Evil Elder TS is just Stardew Valley. <laughs> There you are, Muffy. Hello. Miss Dorothy is looking for you, Molly. Me? Not the daily readings. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not going back, at least it's a Sunday. So? I'm working either way, aren't I? Huh, but, but you're different. What's that? Huh, I'm just a girl. <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't be working all day like you. One of my friends says I'm just a girl a lot. Uh, alright. Uh, wrong menu. Okay. I need to get my bearings because I've never been to the viewpoint before. Like the song. Just thinks it faded, I can't even read it. headphones. There we go. We're back. I'm just a girl. Alright, 
so it's this way, I guess. Which I've never been before. There she is! Wow. Let's have a date with Freya. There she is! I'll spend some time with her! Elise. I'm so glad you made the time! <laughs> I was curious about the maypole, I suppose. Come now, I've been picking some flowers. Oh, uh, won't they wilt if you pick them now? <laughs> I'm still playing with the colors. Papa's letting me a hand to dress the maypole. And Mrs. Mariella, Miss Linda, too. Freya? Might as well invite all of Kieferberg to dress it at this rate. That was such a gay line, by the way. Good lord. Oh, right. Why don't you help too, Elise? And me? You could spend the night on Friday, and we could all do it together. Um, not too certain. Oh, it'd be so much fun to have you. I'm not so good with that kind of thing, Freya. God. Oh my good lord. That was such a gay line. Can you be more specific? No. Oh, wonderful. I knew daisies would suit you best. Freya? <laughs> what do you say, Elise? Do you want to stay the night? I suppose I could, but... <laughs> it's alright if you don't want to, silly. Uh, that's not what I... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You don't fancy me much, do you, Elise? Freya. All I want is to be good friends with you, despite everything. I do too, you know? <laughs> I wasn't trying to make you feel for me or anything of the sort. That's not it, Freya! Oh, I didn't mean... I didn't even say anything yet! Oh, but I truly didn't mean to... You're always overcompensating! It makes you seem disingenuous! Elise. I'm glad we're friends, Freya. I truly am. Mm. Yet you keep trying to please me day in, day out. That's not what I meant to do, Elise. I wish you'd treat me more as a friend, Freya. Rather than someone you owe an apology to. Elise. I'll be using that ointment you made me, alright? I never meant to overcompensate. For goodness sake. Yet you shower me with gifts every day of the week! You don't do that to anyone else, what am I supposed to think? Hello. I know. That's because I care for you, Elise. Huh? <laughs> There's a reason why you're the only one, silly. <gasps> Whoa! We got a confession right off the bat! Anyhow, it's getting quite late, isn't it? <gasps> Gay, right off the bat! Right off the bat! <laughs> Is everything alright, Elise? You're red as a beat! <laughs> Why, it is getting quite late! <laughs> what are you laughing at? Good lord. <laughs> Holy shit, that was gay. Okay, listen, there was there was the dates that we had with Rose and Marine and Lebku Hen. And then there was that. Alright, our hunger. We're we're feeling hungry, so let's let's get at least some food. Get a love heart after every successful date. Yeah, the music starts fucking up if you don't eat properly. <laughs> Let's just eat up a bunch. We need to eat anyway. Ah, oh, no, don't eat. Don't eat that. Alright. Oh, let's go see Leb. Yeah, that, that was definitely, like, a date date. Uh, I forgot what I was supposed to do. Re Rose and Marine. Rose! Hmm. Yeah. The amount of gay I saw is more gay. <laughs> That's probably gay somewhere else now. <laughs> Alright. Let's go see 
I love Rose and Green. Do we go on two days of uh yes? Let's let's just keep our affections high with everyone. What she says here is really interesting to me, so I really want to know more about it. Hello. Hey, you are a flock. Would it be nice being a goat, huh? Not one care in the world, oblivious to everything. <laughs> She's just like me. <laughs> All right. There she is. We'll spend some time with her. I didn't know you'd be back so soon, Elise. Hmm. I still ought to head back to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out here? <laughs> oh, just waiting for the stars to come out is all. Hmm. A little too early for stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Hmm. Air out your thoughts, you say. I'm waiting for the waxing crescent. It's important I set my sight on what's to come. The sooner the better. What do you mean, Rosemary? Oh, <clears throat> you see, Elise. I've dreamt about you before. About Kieferberg, too. Oh, last night, or...? I know this may sound strange, but... I didn't quite stumble upon Kieferberg by accident. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Elise? I don't know. I've never given it much thought. Then, you most likely won't believe what I have to say, but... I've always known my fate was with you, Elise. Huh? It's too soon to be having this conversation, if I'm honest. I meant to wait until you were ready, but... I don't understand, Rosemary. Ready for what? <laughs> You'll know, in time. For oh, what's with all this mystery? I'm with her, Rosemary! What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. Hmm. Nostalgic, you say? Oh, your name, yes. your voice, your home, this breeze even, all that surrounds you. So much of it feels like home to me. That's not possible. Elise. It's you, the stars told me about Elise. I'm certain now. Never in my life have I heard such nonsense, and yet, I'm covered in goosebumps. <laughs> I can tell you don't believe one word of what I just said. I... I think I'll stay out here for a little while longer, if that's alright. I promise I won't be late for supper. Alright. Don't stay out here too long, you hear? I won't, I won't! Hmm... Rose, my love. Alright. So now it is night time. Let's see if we can... I wonder if we could still grab the extra bread from Leb since we didn't go on the date with her. Oh, I'm finally done with work for today. I'd best head over to see... to Miss Gretel's to see Leb. Have dinner with Rose and Green, but we're going to see Leb first. There's so much intensive sapphic energy. I just realized I haven't saved in a while. Let me go do that. These girls gay. Good for them. Good for them. <laughs> I 
Chi chi chi. Hello, Liv. There you are, Liv. You're a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, Elise. <clears throat> These folks will be the death of me, that's what. Fretting over this witch nonsense day and night. You know they're rather superstitious, Elise. Oh, you're buying into it now, too? What's next? You'll sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop? Elise! It's all nonsense, Lev. Everyone's losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elise. Two. Did you make too much today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. You need to look after yourself, Elise. Lab's always had a talent to figure things out, but is this her intuition again, or...? Move along, Elise, before it gets late. I'll see you tomorrow, Lab. Alright. Girls get good? Alright, we got the bread, so let's save again. The soundtrack to this game is really beautiful. You made your way back to where you were- to close to where you were yesterday in a very short span of time. Yeah, probably because I already have my bearings. Uh, how long have we been streaming? For an hour? Yeah, it took me about two hours. I'd say it took me about 30 less minutes. We got to tomorrow's morning, and then that was where we stopped. So, once we get... Once we get there, which shouldn't take long, because I already know what to do, um, uh, we'll continue. And then after that, it'll be actually, like, Elise. like, reactions. <laughs> ah, Elise, welcome back. I brought some bed. Let's settle down and eat. Speedrun pro, I'm so good at this. Would you like me to start making dinner for us from tomorrow, Elise? That's not a bad idea in itself, but... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in the outhouse. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet granny disappear disapprove of anything I prepared. Well, I suppose I can't do much harm. All right. On that note, Rosemarine, you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging around the granary and bringing all the dust and cobwebs inside. Oh. I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. Huh. I've had my fill of running about looking for you day and night. But I wouldn't want to be a bother. Oh, shush it. And I wouldn't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic and that's final, you hear? And letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... Did you hear that, Rosemarine? Hear what? I'm taking the broom. You stay here, just in case. There you are. Mommy. It's you! <coughs> boop, 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 please spare me, Elise! Mommy. What in the world's name are you doing here, Miffy? <laughs> I was out on a stroll, I swear! I swear on my auntie's name! Oh, you just so happen to hide behind my house, I see. Who, who doesn't? You sneak about folks' homes every now and then too, don't you? What are you doing here, Mandy? Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. It's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I best... I, I saw her! The, the girl you're housing, Elise! You saw nothing, Molly. She, she's not from around here. Even I can tell. You were having supper together and everything, Elise. You keep your mouth shut, Mubby, or I'll... You know. Why don't you share some of that bread you've got, Elise? I mean, keep quiet if you do. For sake. Well, I should have guessed that's what you wanted. Oh. What are you telling him, Miffy? You'd better get me a pretzel tomorrow. 
Mouth shut, or I'll make certain you never go for a stroll again! And don't come back, or else! This is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry, I... Is she gone? This could be bad, Rosemarine. Oh, sorry. At least I genuinely, I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. Oh, don't you start fretting now, too. Do you think she'll tell anyone? If she does, we could be... In trouble. I know, Rosemarine. I'm sorry, I... It's Rosen, Marine. Head back inside! Uh, yes. Not be spying on you. Fulfill her daily request for food items to keep her from snitching and raising suspicion. Elise is extremely rude and I'm kind of into it. <laughs> Elise. I'm heading off to bed, Rosemarine. I can spend the night in the granary if you'd like. No, I meant what I said. You're sleeping in the attic. I'll meet you upstairs. Uh, alright. At least it's extremely rude and I'm kind of into it. Don't know what that says about me. Nothing good. It's okay. She's not real. It just meets you. <laughs> you left that goat in the granary, I'm hoping. I left the door ajar so he can go out and about if he wants. Makes you think he'll stay put. <laughs> I the bed I made him, of course. You ought to see it, Elise. I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's hay bed, Rosemarine. Up you go, you need to make your bed too. I just realized. Um, or I just remembered, rather. Um, Aru, who does Rosemarine and Muffy's voices. Um, and this game is available in um, English and Japanese voice acting. Um, her native language is neither of those languages. I think her native language is Portuguese. So, she, I remember she said something along the lines of, like, um, like, it, it was, like, it's kind of cool that I was able to be directed like this, considering neither of them are my native language. I, I, I just think that's super cool as well. <laughs> I want to push back on that, but you're speaking the truth. You'll make do, I'm certain. It's perfect. I'll get you a blanket, too. I can't have you sleeping on hay. Oh, why not? For you're not a goat, Rosemarine. <laughs> I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket? For I don't see what's so funny. Please. You truly are kind, Elise. I can see that clearly now. Shush it, you. I'll be glad to take that blanket, Elise. I'll get you some matches, too, and a candle. Thank you, Elise. It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night, Rosemarine. Good night, Elise. I genuinely do not understand how people just master their languages like that. Yeah, her, like, her pronunciation is really good. And also, her voice is really cute. For goodness sake. What am I getting myself into? First, I agreed to house Rosemarine. Now Miffy's caught wind of it, too. I best make sense of this all by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town. Go somewhere far, far away from here. A place where I'd never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace somewhere. Where I can live the life I deserve. Alright, we need to eat. So we're in this, um, pocket mirror-esque section. Where? Where am I? What is this? Is this a dream? <gasps> Hello? Alright, yeah, let's get some food. I'll have to buy some more food tomorrow. Explore the room. It's locked, it seems. Oh, and I bet there's something nice inside, too. Oh, wait, that's right. We also have the ointment, right? Yeah. Alright, we're 
so we're good. We should be able to survive this section. I feel like I'm in a princess's bedroom. If only I could live here, just like I've always dreamed. Oh, fuck that. Got the silver key. Uh... Locked, it seems, and I bet there's something nice inside. I have to go to the menu. Alright. Nope, wrong thing. Let's see. Oh, goodness, so many dresses! Another key? I wonder what it's for. You got some items in this section last time, too. That's right, I got the bandages. Alright, so we'll be fine. Alright, leave the room. And you remember where everything is, too. Yeah, vaguely. Oh. Such a long corridor. It truly feels as though I'm inside a palace. Can't run. Which is a little unsettling. Can't see anything. But the Golden Maiden, you missed her. You're right, I did miss the Golden Maiden. Ma maiden. All right, uh, let, me, let me see if I can go back and get it. Restart. I did miss the Golden Maiden, that's unfortunate. Hopefully I can go back in the room. It's locked, fuck. Ugh, all right. Um, it is what it is, that's unfortunate. I could also, um, when we get past this point, we could also reload the save where we went on the date with, um, where we'd go on the date with Leb instead of, um, Freya, where we got the Golden Maiden. We could do that. <sighs> I don't, I don't know what bearing it has on the story, though, if, or if there's any at all. It could just be an Easter egg. Yeah, I could. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I didn't control that. I was like, bad feeling. Let's go investigate. What is this? What in the Lord's name is this place? What are those things? Feeling lost? Turn on your lantern and keep an eye out. All right, so we know what to do. Four keyholes, that means there's four keys. Alright, uh, so I remember where all of them were. I wonder if I could just get this one. So one different language, can't make sense of any of the titles. So I have to get the dialogue first. Alright. jammed. I could try to pry it open, but... Force it open! It's achievement and lore related, so I think there might be an ending with it. I didn't read too closely so as to not spoil myself. I want a wiki that lets me look up stuff with an adjustable spoiler filter gauge. There! Some wikis do that, but a lot of them don't, which is really disappointing. It's a key. This is what'll get me out of here, I'm certain. one here, I think. Alright, the phantasm key, right? It's a key. That's what'll get me out of here, I'm certain. Like, show me all spoilers up to chapter three. Yeah, literally, like, ugh. Alright, um. If I run, away fast enough from this thing, it won't chase me. But also, uh, there's not a lot. There's no good way to get through here without getting hurt. But yes, there is. I found it. Ah! 
Oh my god. Oh, let's get the bandages from here. Oh wait, that's not the bandages, that's the key. Key, this is what'll get me out of here. Uh, if I remember correctly, the bandages are here. Pick them up just for later, even if we don't need them now. Because we're not taking any damage. We're so good at this. How far do you go? Alright. That's me. In the painting. That's right, it's on the other side. It's jammed. I could try to pry it open. Force it open. I don't rely on wikis anymore since a lot of people put, um, false. The coffin wiki said Ashley was dating Bruce Wayne and I thought that that was a bizarre but true detail. <laughs> okay. What's this? The key to one's dream is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in its very room. It's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold bathed glory. Oh, uh, the way it starts whispering in your ear when it gets close. It's very unsettling. Especially since I have um, headphones on. Whee! Okay, cool. Um, uh... Damageless run? Damageless run? The shelf. I have to reach my arm out to get it. Goat LGTS player. I know I'm so good at this. And that's all of them. It's a key. This is what'll get me out of here. Cool. Four keyholes. That means there are four keys. Well, guess what? We have all four. This is it. It worked. Oh yeah, that's right. This section was really cool. Not controlling this. What is this? Where am I? I must be dreaming. All right, now I control it. Oh no, never mind. No, I don't. Now I do. I am still in control. Got that RTX on. <laughs> hurry now, hurry now! We're late for his banquet! W where are you? Hurry, hurry! So, I want to assume that he is, um, not controlling this. Um, I want to assume that he is, uh, Rumpelstiltskin, because we met Rumpelstiltskin in Pocket Mirror. And this is like the prequel to Pocket Mirror. Oh, this is so cool. And Monday! Elise is looking a little depressed, so we're gonna world record pace. A dream? That left me feeling a little queasy. Wells and Marine? Are you there? She's most likely still asleep anyway. No point in waking her this early, I suppose. Alright, uh... Do we have any? Alright, we should save the pretzel for Muffy. He's hungry just like me. Oh, she's at it again! Good morning! 
I would have gotten a head start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early. Oh, Since when have you been up? I'm always up and about before daybreak. I can't sleep in if I try. Mm. I did notice you coming down from the attic. I brought the ladder up with me last night so I wouldn't leak you. And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? I took my shoes off and used the ladder to shut it back up. Easy. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, huh? I look as smart as I am, Elise. Not so. Anyhow, I'm headed off to the garden. The garden? You mean the field just outside? Is it that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? I've been working like a dog since Granny Holly passed, but... Oh, I have you to fret about too. I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? What? You'd rather starve? Join me as a maid of all work, perhaps? You truly are kind, aren't you? I'm heading out to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment, then. What's sparkling? What did I just get? Bread! Hungry wife. Neglected it for so long, it'll be impossible to dig! <laughs> Anyhow, this is no time to loiter about! What is this? A pair of shoes? How could they possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh. They're wonderful! Fit me like a glove, too! These shoes! <laughs> it's as though they were made for me! I'm wearing the shoes now. All of Kieferberg needs to hear about this! She's so cute. Her spinning around and around. <gasps> the song! Diana Garner has such a good voice. Ah. Uh... Think the creators have ever watched anime before? I don't know. <laughs> On your feet, Elise. All right. So this was the last scene I saw before. Um. Before I was like, I, I called it a stream. Explain yourself. Oh, what is there to explain, father? Could you not hear yourself, lass? Parading into Saint Walpurga's place of worship, howling and shouting mm. like a. Please, old Johan. Words of egotism, vanity, disdain for your fellow folk. I've always known you were wicked, you arrogant lassie. Oh, geezer. A witch! A witch of old Holly's kin! I am not a witch, you! That's a dog. Old Johan has overstepped his boundaries. I ask that you pardon him. Yet his concerns weigh heavy, Elise. <laughs> I wasn't aware singing and dancing was forbidden now, father. <sighs> Your singing was riddled with sin, lass. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed. You'll oh, 
What does any of this have to do with sin, father? This old geezer just accused me and my grandmother of witchery, yet... <sighs> Enough, Elise. Compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament is a sin in and of itself. Uh, I think I said very well. No, there's no way to save. Very well. I guess I'll repent for something I didn't do, if it makes you happy. <sighs> yet there's something I'd like to make clear to you all. You've stood witness to this foolery. You've all heard old Johan accuse me of witchery. That's enough, Elise. You asked me to pardon him yourself, father, and I will. Yet I demand you folks understand this once and for all. I am not a mere maid of all work. I am one of you. And I demand right here, right now, that you start treating me as such. Very well, Elise. You've made yourself heard. Without a shadow of a doubt, lass. At last, he's made his move. Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, lass. What? You're favored by him, at least frightfully so. You're clad in his will from head to toe, inside out. And those shoes... M my shoes? Those very shoes, Elise, are a testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful lass. <sighs> Get away from me! Yours is his heritage, his flesh, his honor. Don't you understand, Elise? Lord in the Lord's name. How do you know my name? His blessings, his will, he himself is writhing in your veins, lass. What do you want from me, you old hag? You must listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say and he will make all your wishes come true. What is this? My wishes, you say? Why, yes, opulence, splendor, fortune. Your deepest desires, unlike any other, Elise. I don't understand. You do, Elise, tell me. What is it you most desire? Me? Speak it, Elise. What I most desire, that's... Fortune. Fortunate you are, Elise. Deep in this woodland, there is a patron saint. Whose blissful word bestows a blessing upon the faithful. All that's requested in return are three gifts made from the testaments to one's desire. Reach his dwelling with all of these in hand and your wish shall be granted. A womb, carrier of life, your basket is to hold all that is sacred. The tender flesh of earthly desire. The sweetest nectar to be drunk in earnest. You are to arrive in good company, the object of your affections. You are to reach the gates of his dwelling, carrying all three gifts. Voice your innermost desire. Surrender yourself wholly to his grace. <laughs> and fortune you shall attain. For such is his blessing, and such is your desire. Elise? Elise, are you listening? Where did she go? Elise. Oh, are you alright, Elise? Where did that old hat go? Elise? What's the matter with you? Leb Kuhin. Oh, I'm sorry, Leb. It's best we let her rest a while. We can sit with you, Elise. Oh, it's best we give her some space, Jacob. Uh, I'm alright. I, I felt a little dizzy is all. Hmm. I can bring you some water, Elise. <laughs> As for me, I'll be in church waiting to have a word with you. Oh, don't you start, Leb. Oh, I've already started! My, now you've done it, Elise. Uh, for goodness sake. Oh, 
All right, so this is just about where we got last time. Uh, took us about 45 minutes less than it did last time because I got really lost. Uh, all right, let's go grab some food. Um, all right, so we don't have any dates today. So today I think it's just a day to work. Um. Oh, never mind. We can have a date with Freya today. Ah. Uh, food and maybe supplies if you need it. Yeah. Four or five repeats will be in some serious pace through the intro. <laughs> My, Elise, look at those shoes. Red truly does look best on you, Elise. Why, thank you. Oh, you have to wear them to the festival, Elise. Now's the time to find yourself a proper suitor, Elise. Ah, that's precisely what we were chatting about with Freya. Oh, y yes. Aren't I a little too young to be looking for a husband? Ah, the sooner the better, I'd say. It's not exactly what I'd like to be doing with my time, if I'm honest. I used to feel the same way until I met Finn, you'll see. I'll say Freya's got a fr good chance of meeting her future husband soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Freya is so... Oh, Miss Brenhild, I wouldn't say. Um, you're quite the catch, isn't she, Dorothea? Oh, Freya is the catch. Uh, in truth, I, I do feel the same as Elise. Implying Elise would only have one suitor and any of them would be male. <laughs> no, literally, like... <laughs> like, I'm just saying, that, that girl, cute little Freya right there, that is not... I don't think she likes Ben whatsoever. That is a lesbian. My interests lie elsewhere, you see? I didn't even read it! Oh, you don't mean? Selling! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Sorry. And I have my hands full with the festival, too. This really isn't the time. Oh, that reminds me. Would you come and meet me by the well today at dusk, Elise? This is crazy. I'm just saying, if Elise was a man, they'd be like, Oh my god, you met your suitor! Ugh. This, this hits a little too hard. Oof. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose. Girls these days, huh? You two will come around, I'm certain. Mm-mm. Dusk. You just haven't met the right guy yet. How? I've met all the men and they're all terrible. Hi, Key. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's, let's go around and see if we can find all the dates first. Uh, Leb is probably in the, um... Yeah, Leb is probably in the, um, church. So let's go to the church. And see if we can get the date with her. If there is one. Um, we might focus on Freya. Remember food supplies. Yes, I haven't forgotten. Um, that's very important and we need to get that today. Because we need... Um, we need to keep Elise alive. But we also like need to um, keep feeding Muffy. So she doesn't rat out on us. Alright, what time is your date? I'm here for my earful, I suppose. You know, child Elise. For goodness sake. I'll spare you, Elise. You're aware you've said too much. I couldn't have stayed silent, you know that. I agree it was their fault, Elise, but we both know this will only get this will only get you the wrong kind of attention. Odiohans to be exact. I'm well aware, Lev Kuhan. There's no real need for you to fret over this, you know? There is the utmost need for me to fret over it, Elise. I'll keep Father Hans from dwelling on it too much. Alright. Why don't you meet me here at du Ugh. We could both use a little downtime. What did you say? I'll be here. We keep making. It's not going to church after mass. Lots of leftover donuts and coffee. So yeah, okay. So Lev Kuhan and Freya both want to have a date at dusk, and we can only choose one. Um, what time does Rose, Rose and Rain want to have a date? Actually, I wonder if we'll be able to get a date with her today. We might just focus on um Freya this route, because um I'm gonna be replaying this game, but with how many endings there are. And I had to replay the entirety of Pocket Mirror too, so um, I don't really mind. All right, let's focus on um, 
Let's get let's let's do a job. Let's get some money so we can eat. Hello. Please. Mama will let me chop wood for her. Oh, don't be silly, Jacob. You're much too, you're much too young to handle a hatchet. Golden each Um, not <laughs> Um I mean, yeah, Golden Earth Tram, but also, um, even before that release, um, I played the game twice to get all of the endings. Like, I played base game twice. Can you get some wood for the hearth, Elise? Uh, sure. Your mother's right, Jacob. You're too little. I'm not. You're a stubborn lad, that's what you are. Why don't they ask Freya to chop it for them instead? One of the endings is probably a neutral ending. I know you're not a newbie at this, but the pacing of these streams is really spot on, really flows together. Thank you. All right, let's start. Is it just enter? Chop and kick. I see. So we chop wood and kick anything else, I guess. Three, two, one, go. Shit. <laughs> no! Shit. <laughs> I really like the art for this um, one. It's very cute. The only man in Elise's life, and this is his only purpose. Shit. Sorry. Round two. Oh wait, that was round two. What did I get? Probably like a C. Hey, I got a B. That's better than I thought. <laughs> All right, how much money do I get for that? Let's try again. Aster's so gamer. I want more. I want more money. Wait, that cost me coins? Ah, uh, it's uh, fine. It's fine. I'll get- I'll, um... I'll get my money back. It's fine. Shit. We're doing a lot better this time, though. Told me you could get better at things. All right, that's a 49. Is that still a B? No, it's an A! We got it! Yeah! Absolutely worth it. All right. Try again? No! I'm satisfied. You win! I'm so good at this. I knew I could rely on you. That's a lot of logs. Here you go. How much do we get? Yeah, 40! Absolutely worth it. A's get the gaze. <laughs> is that what you tried to say the first time? <laughs> A is adequate enough. Buffy! I thought I'd never find you, Elise! What now, Miffy? It's your... I don't have food for you! Shoot! Shoot! But at least it's your... My what? 
Your friend! Huh? Uh-oh. Laz with the funny hat. She's right outside. Oh, no. Hurry it up! Take me to her, Molly, right now! Ah, oh, you're covered in dirt, lass. Oh. Huh? I'm... She's so funny looking. Look at her silly hat. Angelica, don't be rude. Do you know this last is Beth? Elise said she's from Primaldorf. Oh. Oh, I'm not from Primaldorf. I've had... Well, I have the faintest idea, Arianne. Oh. I'm looking for Elise. Have you seen her? Elise, do you know her? We do happen to know Elise, but how do you know her, lass? Elise oh. uh, said she, she, she's adopted. Did you hear about all this, Mummy? Oh, if you please tell me where... Look, Mama, she's a tiny scarecrow. She does? She does! It's on her sleeve. That's cute. Forgive me, but does anyone know where I can find Elise? The way she says Elise is so gay. <laughs> what are you doing here, you? You do know the last Elise. Uh, yes, yeah, she's. Think, Elise, think. Uh, Disney cousin from Brabbledorf! I don't know cousins, Elise. I do recall old Holly's mother had a sister, but I never met her. Yeah, exactly! Rosemarine here is my aunt's granddaughter. It's Rosemarine. I'm so very pleased to meet you, Rosa Marie. Uh, thank you. Anyhow, it's getting quite late. We'd best move along before... Uh, but you tell me, my dear. How long have you known you had a cousin? <laughs> Bullshit. Uh... Oh, there's an outline around it. There's red. And then there's... Yellow. She said Rosemary might show up here one day, you see? I never got to meet my aunt before she passed, but I'm glad I, I'm glad I got to meet my cousin. Uh, I see, I see. And she turns up just in time for the festival, too. Mama, Mama, can the funny lady come play with us? Uh, of course. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't want to bother you, Rosemary. <laughs> You're all very welcoming, but we ought to move along, and... Wonders, Elise. How did you meet your cousin, then? She sent someone to Kieferberg. I found her all alone out at the crossroads. You mention it. It's such a silly story, isn't it, Rosemary? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. In fact, I took her for a beggar when I first laid my eyes on her. You certainly did. Oh, the poor lass. I was on my way to Kieferberg, you see? That's when I saw her. She asked me if I knew someone named Holly. Oh, how fortunate. Had to stay for the festival, Rosemary. Most certainly. <laughs> well, as much as I'd love to sit around and chat. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you all. It's a pleasure to know you too, Rosemary. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. Come, Rosemary. Yes. Uh, goodbye. Suspicion down. Boom. Alright, we... We said all of the right things. I didn't notice the outline. All right, we're hungry, because we did not... We ended up not grabbing food. So let's go get... Can't leave without talking to Rosemary and ought to get to the bottom of this. Uh -huh, I don't want to eat the pretzel. We have full health. Manly plush announcement. No way, actually. Uh, let's just Let's just eat it. Have you completely lost your wits, Rosemary? I'm sorry, Elise. I knew you had a bird's nest for a brain, but this is too much. Oh, that's rude. Uh, well, you know what you did? I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to. I was chasing after Flock, you see. Rosemary, uh, why not let him frolic about? That's what goats do. He took the laundry I was tending to right out of my hands. I couldn't let him ruin your sheets. Alright, well... 
We didn't do bad too. We didn't do too bad convincing the townsfolk, I'd say. I didn't mean to trouble you. Oh, forget it, Rosemarine. It's all right. I'm telling you, it's fine, Rosemarine. I feel all I've done so far is trouble you. Which isn't a complete lie now, is it? Damn. Yet, I do enjoy your company, so... Anyhow, we ought to keep our stories straight. Maybe if we tell them I came to lend you a hand with work? This is it! That's it, Rosemarine! Listen carefully. Granny Holly told me about you and your and her auntie long ago. Your grandmother is Gran Granny Holly's auntie, which makes us distant cousins. Yes. So you heard about the festival and came about to Kieferberg to meet Granny Holly. Yes. Last Saturday, we just so happened to back bump into each other by the crossroads. You asked me about Granny Holly, and that's how we met. Sorry, I... How does that relate to what I just said? <laughs> Why, you like Kieferberg so much that you wanted to stay and lend a hand. Oh, you're a kind, charitable, loving soul who wants to help with the festival. That'll keep him from asking too many questions, I'd wager. I think that's a great idea, Elise. All right. This being said, Rosemary, you're going right home right after nightfall, you hear? I don't want to. I don't want you hanging about these folks too much. Yes. All right, Elise. I did it. We're making it happen right now. Then let's go. Yes. Oh, we're actually going home. Oh, no, we're not. Never mind. Party talk. <gasps> Head back to work. We must be careful, Rosemarine. These folks are all noise nosy and ill-tempered. We don't want to make this situation any worse, understood? Yes, Elise. I'll be good. You'll see. Um, I'm going to grab some tea. So, I do have a be right back thing. Like, let me, let me see if it works. This thing is so ugly. Hold on. Here we go. This stupid border is also so ugly. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of this damn border. Honestly, even this is kind of ugly. Let's turn the opacity down. Pour us a cuppa. Hell yeah. Check the text. Align it to the middle. There we go. I wonder if Andy can make you a cuter one. He probably can. Um, anyway, uh, y'all are free to chat. Uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Um, y'all are free to chat amongst yourselves. I will be back in a little bit. So, um, I'm gonna get myself a big thing of tea. Thank you. 
All right, I am back. All right, let's put it back. Alright. Twitch Studio is trying to give him, give me all of these like cute little tutorials or whatever. Alright, we're back. Keep close to me, alright? Of course. I wouldn't know what to do by myself, so let's see how this goes. It'll be fine, Elise. We're in this together. Which just so happens to be the problem. All right, back to work. Are we, oh, if we do um, like little mini games, is um, is Rose gonna like show up with us? Oh, oh my god! Need it. All right. Uh, right. We need to buy food. Very important. We need to get pretzels for Muffy. So she doesn't sell us out. Oh, hello, Freya. Alright, this hot lady running the shop. I get so lonely all by myself in this inn. I'm buying. Uh, we have plenty of matches right now. I think we're good. Oh wait, we have, um, we have six, so we should, uh, let's just get ten. How much is that? Ten. That's fine. All right, um, uh, actually, let's just get four more so we have a solid twenty. Um, uh, oh, there's no bread here. Yeah, the blue number is inventory, yes. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, we get one of these. Uh, we're pretty good at avoiding damage right now, so yeah, that's all. Goodbye, Wis Melma. Wis Melma. <laughs> all right. True Ara Ara energy. Yes. There was an Ara Ara character in um, Pocket Mirror. Um, her pay. Uh, I guess we should go to Levkuhan's bakery to get food. Unless there's like other shops that I just haven't really explored yet. Uh, come to think of it, we haven't actually explored the whole city, I think. We haven't been back here. Uh, I wonder if there's any shops back here. I keep scaring the birds. Get that bread. Yeah, literally. Yeah, the stream probably won't progress as smoothly as it has been so far just because I don't know what I'm doing anymore <laughs> so get that bread we can't though all right uh let's just um let's just go to Leb's bakery I think that's the best bet oh wait no there's a store up here is it there all right no there's not that's a save oh Let's go, let's go see Leb. We are in the blind, as they would say. Yes. Oh, there's so many cute animals everywhere. Oh, she got. My favorite area in the whole game. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Which way was it? It was this way, right? I don't actually remember. <laughs> ah, we've gone too far. It was where the swing was, that's right. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we cross the river again. Help! 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 This area's too much. Wish there was a teleport. At least wish she was rich. I wish there was a teleport. Uh, it's not that way. That's right, it was past the save. I went all that way for nothing. <laughs> Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. I'm buying. Open world problems, basically Elden Ring. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. All right, let's get some bread. All right, uh. Whoa! Alright, let's, let's get one of these. Why not? And let's get two of these and then we'll be broke. Alright. Anything else? Some pretzels maybe? We got some already. We're good. See you, Granny. Gotta eat more, Elise. Eat up. Alright, so we have enough food for both Muffy and ourselves. Uh, yeah, we have the Levkuchen. That's for us. We have bread. We don't have any pretzels, though. We might have to do another job, but what time is it? It is- okay, we have enough time to do another job before we go on the date with Freya. Uh, I think I'm committing to Freya this route. Or this time. Because we're gonna replay it anyway, so I'll get- I'll get Rosemarine. Or maybe I'll, like, kind of jump between the two, because I'm really fond of Rosemarine. <gasps> Leave it up, Toast Gang! Uh, actually, yeah. Let's, um, let's save. Oh, surprises. Well, who's this lass? I'd like to introduce you to my cousin from Primaldorf. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Rosenmarine. You don't mean to tell me Holly sells family in Primaldorf? What would you know about it anyhow? Rosemarine's grandmother is in fact from Primaldorf. Uh, my granny already passed, so... Oh, I knew it! Come now, Bertha. I don't buy it, Elise. What? Not one bit. What? You two don't even seem to, to agree on whether your family members are alive or not. Oh, there's no need. What matters is that Rosemary in here comes from Primaldorf, Mrs. Bertha. Sure, and I'm a donkey in a dress. Might as well be, you old hag. At least. Uh, if you'll excuse us. Suspicion up. Eee! So, huh. I, I wonder if this conversation just kind of fucks you over regardless of what you choose. She did, but... I wouldn't want to speak on Rosemary's behalf, but... Uh, my granny's already passed, so... I see, that's rather unfortunate. You're from a humble home, I can see that much. Oh, truly, I've always been rather... Why are we all from humble homes, Mrs. Bertha? Truly, Bertha, we hardly know the last. My people take offense to everything these days. Suspicion down. Huh, so the color actually doesn't matter. I wonder what the color is supposed to be then. Alright. Italian boy dinner. <laughs> Alright, so it's not dusk yet. Let's let's play. Play with the kids. Uh, Rose and Marine can help. It'll cost you three bread each time, but she'll make tasks easier and avoid raising suspicion. Huh, alright. So it'll be more important to work more often. So you weren't lying, Melly. I, I told you, I know what I saw. Why did you tell these two, Melissa? Uh, maybe it's best we don't annoy her, Elise. You shush it, Rose Marine. Why don't you cousin play kiss the rat with a kiss the rat? Sure. We can play with you, I suppose. Oh, a game? You stay close to me, Rosemary. I'll go call Groon. Ugh, gross. I don't want the stinky rat anywhere near me. This is a horror game because you have to entertain children as an adult. So real. 
Kiss the rat. Oh, look at Rosemary on the side there. So cute. Blue pass, yellow pass. What does that mean? What the hell? Oh! I forgot the controls. Wait, which one's which? Shit. Eh? Ah. That was so bad. What the hell? 21 C. Oof, that's really bad. I have no coins. I can't try again. Oh, fuck this. Let's just reload the save. <laughs> Pass. We got like nothing for that though. It's a tie, huh? Going left already, but you can have this. It's from the two of us. <laughs> Is this how you two are spending your allowance? Well, I feel bad for taking it. Well, I don't. I've had it with this game. So have I. Hold on. Ah! Don't move into dusk yet. One hour seven fifty-seven minutes before safe's coming. <laughs> All right, we're feeling hungry now because we use Rose and Marine's help. Ah, we have a cutscene. No, <laughs> I'm gonna redo the damn game. Okay, all right, it's fine. Uh, I'll redo the game and then um, redo the scene. Maybe this is a short one anyway. It's best you head on home now, Rose Marine. The folks have had enough of you for one day. <laughs> oh, it was so much fun, Elise. If you say so. I'll see you at home then. Oh, we're living with her. Oh my god. Alright, let's reload the save. Alright. So, it's way earlier than you think. That's the... Oh yeah, let me check the relationship menu, actually. Suspicion... 10? Did we have that conversation? I guess it went up once and down once, so we're kind of back where we started. Hmm, let's have more conversations with people and bring it down then at some point. Alright. Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna play with you. There's such weird content to work out to, but I'm vibing. You're <laughs> working out right now? <laughs> I've also worked out to Let's Plays before. It's like, it's su it's surprisingly like really good. You still have a pretzel from Muffy tonight, right? Not yet. So uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, that's why I'm trying to do better at this game. So we have enough to get it. Cause Rose and Marine takes a lot of <laughs> lo-fi streamers to work out and study too. Hello, Vine. Blue pass and yellow pass. Alright, blue and yellow. I think I got it. Oh, that was too early. It's fine. Wrong color.
Round two. Three, two, one, go. Shit. Better at least. 36! Still a C? <laughs> Man, fuck this game. I'm gonna take on a different. Um... I don't have enough to retry. I'm fucking broke. No, fuck this game. I'm gonna do a different um, commission. Because this is, this is not it. Fuck this. Let's get some more fucking money. <laughs> I'm so good at this game, y'all. Alright. Um, there's no more kiss the rat. Um, help you again with the chickens? Where is that? It's up at the stables. Alright. Get more money. I see you're channeling Elise very well. I know. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at getting into character. <laughs> Alright, fuck y'all. Sick of y'all. <laughs> At least like, uh, fuck them kids. Me too. Ugh. Alright. I don't think we've been here before. Alright, let's go help out with the chickens! It's gotta be easier than fucking kiss the rat. Your cousin, is it? It's a pleasure to meet you. She came all the way from Primaldorf. Primaldorf? That's a long way from here. Ah, truly. I was thinking of asking you to collect me some eggs. Sure. Rosemary could come with me and lend me a hand. Ah, uh, yes. Out of my way, you feathered rat! Elisa's more relatable than any of us want to admit. No, literally. I want money. Chicken frenzy! Chicken frenzy! Who did the voices for these? It's so cute. Move, pick egg. I see. Three, two, You don't move as smoothly here as I would expect. It's a little jarring. I don't think I did um, very well on this one either. Hopefully it's better than a C though. Yes! <laughs> we got 30! <laughs> 30 instead of 40. Or 20. Continue. Bees get degrees. All right. We didn't get our money yet, so let's know. 
That's, that's 30, we'll take it. Ugh. This should be illegal. Ugh. Yeah, I thought two people would get more eggs. Bitch! Sorry. Rosemary's not quite used to it. That's all right, at least here you go. Still did a good job, thank you. All right. Ah, bees get degrees, yeah. All right, let's grab some food at the bakery again. Best you head on home. All right, we're doing good. We ate a lepkuhen. Um. That's right, we have a date with Freya tonight. Oh, Muffy. Muffy. <laughs> it's pretzel time, Elise. I'll oh, spare me, Maggie. I've waited all day, Elise. You, you pr pr promised me a pretzel. I promise you no such thing. I'm telling Father Hans then. Did we get? Good luck with that, Mindy. I've already introduced her to everyone myself. Oh, my poor beggar cousin Rose Marange. They fell right for it. Every single one of them. S -s -s She's not your cousin? Fuck. Golly, Elise. Even I fell for it. No, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. What I meant was... Hi, best little... All those f f f folks know, huh? Oh, if, if, if only you'd give me a pretzel. Now! You don't get the lepku hen. Uh, <laughs> only a bread. Keep your wretched mouth shut, Melly. Dare tell a soul about any of this, and your goodness dead. Th 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 this isn't a pretzel. That's all you're getting, Macy. Take it or leave it. You're so mean, Elise. It's just just a pretzel. Keep pestering me and I'll get even meaner. You best give me some grape juice tomorrow. So I can drown you in it. Got it. Best make certain I set aside for some for her tomorrow. All right. Uh, I think we have some grape juice, so we should be good. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, we have grape juice. I'll just have to make sure not to eat it. Alternatively, I could just re reload the save again. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to waste too much time on that, though. It's pretzel time. Pretzels are like $8 at Auntie Anne's. Piss off, Muffy. It's like a <laughs> uh, forgot how to get out of here. There we go. Pretzels are kind of expensive. Like, they have too much nutritional value for her to just be snacking on them. Uh, let me go... Uh, let's go on the date with Freya. Um, meet Freya by the water well. Yeah, alright, we're gonna... We're gonna really devote to Freya this route, I think. Pretzel dogs are goaded though, worth the 30... 36?! Wow, this is very romantic. Hello, Freya. There she is. We'll spend some time with her. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, Elise, they're wonderful. <laughs> they suit me rather well, don't they? Uh... Your legs are so long. It's like the you were made for those shoes. Or the shoes were made for you, maybe. <laughs> You're exaggerating, Freya. <laughs> Nothing of the sort, Elise. You're so elegant. Huh? I always thought you were so graceful, even when we were younger. Freya? I'm more of a farmland lass, you see? Made to chop wood and draw water from the well. No, I... I wouldn't put it like that, Freya. You're different, Elise. You're so confident and poised. Not one of those folks would ever agree with you, Freya. You always know when to stand your ground and what to say. Which is what gets me in trouble to begin with. I can't help but admire the way you carry yourself, Elise. Freya. You're truly... Aw, <sighs> oh, how I wish I were as brave as you are. Huh? 
I could never talk back to Mrs. Wilma, or to anyone else for that matter. You are a little too forgiving, that's true. That's why they keep praising me left and right, I suppose. What's keeping you from speaking your mind, Freya? <laughs> oh, I'm too much of a chicken for that, Elise. Are you out of your... This is ridiculous! You've lost your wits, and it's only Monday! Huh? Who's to tell you what you can or cannot do? <laughs> uh, it's not as though I can simply start. Only it truly is that simple, Freya! You're so capable and gifted. I know how much you love this town, but... Even you have to admit all it does is hold folks back. I know, Elise, yet I can't seem to get to the bottom of it. Kieferberg is my home, after all. It's not as though you can't build a home someplace else, Freya. I know. This is where my father is, where you are. It's... It's where my memories of my mother are, too. I've thought about Primal Dwarf or even going beyond that, but I must say I'm glad to be here in this moment, right where I am. Elise. With you, and Kieferberg. Aren't you, Elise? <gasps> you do make it more bearable, I suppose. Kieferberg wouldn't be the same to me without you, if I'm honest. Rhea. <laughs> Capable and gifted, I heard you the first time, Elise. <laughs> but Rhea. you... Hey, I'll be home all afternoon tomorrow. I'll be there, girl! <laughs> Goodness sake. I want to go on more dates with Rose and Marine. But at this rate, I think we've kind of locked ourselves into Frey, and that's fine. We will enjoy our time with our sweetheart Freya. Oh, Golden Maiden! Alas, to think I'd be surrounded by demons on my deathbed. Your deathbed? That fateful evening, I was taken into his dwelling under the pretense of glory. What do you mean? His blessing, his blissful word. You oughtn't believe any of it. Oh, so the Golden... Ooh. So the Golden Maidens... <laughs> Let's go back home, I guess. Alright, have dinner with Rosemary. Don't forget, meet Lepka Ken at the bakery. Alright, let's head home then. Alright, it's a bit dark, but it's fine. Ah, oh, you'll get another earful staying in town until this late. Isn't it quite late for you, Miss Next Child? Oh, dearie, mornings were never my favorite. Your grandmother shared the sentiment, didn't she? She did take her time going to bed, that's true. Old Holly truly was full of surprises and secrets. Secrets, Miss Nextiled? Ah, yes, Gretel and I were always wondering what was on her mind. She was quite withdrawn at times, you see. I suppose she was, yes. Gretel was the only one she could find in. Oh my god, they're all gay. Of course, Granny does talk about her a great deal, that's for certain. I can't take old Yahin's foolery to heart, Elise. You lasses are different from when I was your age, and that's the way it ought to be. Maybe your elders weren't as narrow-minded, Miss Mextiled. Oh, you wouldn't know, do you? I don't know if I pronounced that right, by the way. I'm sorry. Let's make a save. Mmm... Eighteen matches. Oh, love, love. Don't you start, Lev Kuhen. I'm not explaining myself again. My lips are sealed. You can stand there looking at me all you want. So the rather sweet lass, I must say. Lev Kuhen. I know you, Elise. She's my cousin. There's nothing more to it. Oh, could you say that again? She's, um, you know. No, I don't know Elise. That's why I'm asking. 
Now that we got that out of the way, won't you tell me who she is? She says she's a traveler. I found her hiding in my granary on Saturday. A traveler? I'm not convinced either, Leb, but I felt sorry for the poor lass. She says she'll be leaving right after the festival, so it's only temporary. What does she come here to do? She won't tell me much herself. I had no intention of bringing her to Kieferberg, but she... Uh, graced us with her presence, I suppose. I had to think of something right there and then. Elise... I shouldn't be housing a stranger, let alone put myself in harm's way for her, but... I understand, Elise. Leb... I also understand what you're telling me is a half troop at best. Here's your bread. You'll let me know if you need more, won't you? Is that two? Yay. No, we need three now. Oh, sorry. Uh... You don't have to help me, Lev. You know that. Yet here I am. Look at me, Elise. I do trust you. I need you to know that. Alright. Stay out of trouble now. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, let's investigate behind here. We never did. Whoa! What is this? Was this opening here before, I wonder? This place is so stuffy. Diary entry. This looks an awful lock like plot like that old geezer's robe, doesn't it? What's this? The miracle of our be beloved patroness, St. Malperga. After last evening's events, I have no choice but to take responsibility. Not only for St. Malperga's sake, but for Old Holly's as well. Huh? Granny Holly? On her deathbed, Old Holly confessed to all her sins. Among her most mundane missteps, she told me of Elise. Of her many prayers to cure of her childlessness. Yet what struck me as remarkable was the miracle she claimed was granted. That the woodland itself granted her wish for a child. As she put it herself, he granted her wish for a heavy price. Hmm? Of Holly's prayers to cure Elise of her childlessness? Hmm? How can this be? What did Old Holly truly mean to say? If this truly did happen and Elise was conceived by St. Malperga's divine intervention, okay. Yet, if not for St. Malperga's blessing, then who is he? Old Holly didn't seem delirious, nor did she lose her composure. I have more questions than I can answer at this moment. What is going on here? I best hold on to this piece of paper. Hmm. Tattered note. is another prayer. Hallowed while Perga, sanctified be thy name. I beg thou for a sign, a testimony to my plea. May you accept this offering, the remnants of thy miracle. Kieferberg welcomes thy blessings, thy guidance. Someone must be leaving these around, but who? There's something else at the bottom. Find proof of our faith up at the peaks, buried within the windmill that once was. This is that old windmill up at the mountains? Is that where we went with Freya? Oh, yeah. Oh, we gotta run. What is that? What is that? What? what? Fatal blow, perish from low health. What? Okay. Alright, how much am I- uh, Okay, it looks like I didn't lose much prog- Uh, oh, I lost the conversation with Lev, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, that's fine. Darkness is closing in around me. It's okay.
Alright, let's make a save. There we go. That's why the save is here. For that fucker. Babes. God, that freaked me out so bad. It took me a second. I was just like looking at it. Got it. Is it still chasing me? What was that thing? I was I dreaming or I think I might need something to clear my mind. Mental health is a bit low. Oh. We can't go back in. That kind of sucks. There was a pink thing in there. Alright, I'm saving over that. Alright, we'll go to the windmill uh, tomorrow because I want to save matches. Definitely wasn't human. Yeah, that was like a 3D model. That like really, that really freaked me out. Actually, come to think of it, is it the windmill just over here? The windmill that once was. This is it, surely. But I can't move this out of the way. Maybe I should come back some other day. Aww. Alright. I will have to keep an eye out for that. Maybe I'm supposed to... So, we went around with Rose and Marine. Uh, maybe at some point we'll also go around with Freya. Since Freya said that she's strong, like physically. Um, maybe we can get Freya to help us move that thing. Coming along? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Indeed. There you are. It's quite late, isn't it? For goodness sake. Spare me the earful, Rose and Marine. What's there to sweep out here after nightfall, anyhow? Uh, I'm sorry. I was keeping myself busy until you came home, is all. And Vok here was amusing himself chasing after the broom. The broom? No, it's lovely. I thought it was in the game. Ah. <laughs> It's nice. Ah, thank you. Flock. Weren't you, Flock? <laughs> so cute. Oh. What's for supper then? Yes. Oh, I made grape soup. <laughs> soup? <laughs> I figured we could both use something hearty. <laughs> we have eggs! What about the eggs? Of course. I cooked those too. I thought we could toast some of yesterday's bread to have with them. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. Does Elise not like soup? Did I do something wrong? Eggy toast ought to be enough for today, I suppose. Let's head inside, Rosemarine. What? <laughs> it's nothing! Oh, but I... Elise, wait. It 
adds another layer to the music she's humming to. Thank you. It's tastier than it looks, isn't it? It could have been worse, that's for certain. Anything tastes good when you're hungry, I find. I suppose today went well, all things considered. I'd best keep an eye on her, lest those folks... I'm sorry, I... Say, Elise, I did mean to ask you something. Hmm? Those shoes you found this morning. Now that you mention it... Well, what about them? You still haven't told me much about them. I've seen them before in my dreams. A long time ago. In your dreams? I'm sorry, I... Elise, is there something you're not telling me? I don't know where to start, Rosemarine. I've been avoiding thinking about it, but this morning in Kieferberg, I... It's fate, Elise. Our fates, Elise. They're finally starting to align. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, never mind. Rosemarine. I saw an old hag. She told me about this patron saint in the woods. That he grants folks wishes if they bring him gifts. So it's true after all. You've heard about all this before? Pretty cheese balls. Uh, carry on, carry on. She said I must bring him three gifts. The tender flesh, sweetest nectar, and good company. Uh, Elise, that's wonderful! What else does she say? Does she mention your fate? Rose Marine, you're scaring me with all this nonsense. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. How do you know about all this? It's an old folktale my granny used to tell me. A folktale? And carry on now, what else does she say? She mentioned finding a dwelling in the woods that he will grant my wish if I bring him the three gifts made from these testaments. You told her your wish, didn't you? I did, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's... It's don't tell me! You can't, you can't tell other folks about your wish, Elise! Out with it! Uh, Rosemary, you have to tell me what's going on! Oh, all I know is what my granny told me, but... I can tell you all about it, Elise. I can help you. Rosemarine. I... I need to think about this. I'll be here tidying up. You can ask me anything you like. Alright. Hmm... That's a little suspicious. Rosemarine. You don't have to look so frightened, Elise. This is all very overwhelming, is all. Oh, Elise, isn't fate such a wonderful thing? Enough of that, Rosemarine. What are these testaments and gifts? Ah, of course! In order to meet him, you're gonna have to gather the testaments to your resolve. These are tools and ingredients you'll have to use when crafting the gifts. It's common courtesy to bring your host nice gifts when visiting, isn't it? Uh huh. Ah, there's also the child's, but I can tell you all about his folktale later. Alright then. For now, I want to know... I mean, I think we know all of these things already, but sure. What is the tender flesh? I don't quite like this. Uh, I'm going to take some tea, actually. I just realized, like, my throat kind of hurts. Hold on. Yeah, Rosemarine is a little suspicious, but... Mm. Ah. Okay. I don't quite like the sound of it, but... Oh, you're the one making it sound bad, Elise. The tender flesh represents your body. The vessel for your soul, so to speak. A representation of my own flesh, then. All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. Huh? It's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. It can be a nail clipping or a strand of hair. What's important is the connection between you and the symbolic vessel. A symbolic vessel? Rosemarine. Tender flesh sounds weird in a cute voice. Tender flesh. <laughs> what is a good company? I don't know what to think of this one. You should meet him when your soul is at its most vulnerable, Elise. At its most vulnerable? Granny used to say, good company brings one's innermost self to light. One's true face, in other words. Rosemary, I'm not sure I understand. Why, it's love, Elise. Love? Love reveals all, wouldn't you say? I suppose. Rosemary, 
What is the sweetest nectar? It's not as though I don't have an idea, but I don't quite like it. It represents your vitality, Elise, your essence. You don't mean... All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. Part of my mortal body, huh? I know what you're thinking, Elise. That could be it, if that's what you're inclined to bring in, but... What is it, Rosemarine? These are meant as proof of your resolve, first and foremost. It's your determination that's most important, Elise. Uh huh. I need time to think. I still can't wrap my head around this nonsense, Rosemarine. That's alright, Elise. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I think I need a moment. Bringing him gifts made out of testaments? I'm supposed to find these somewhere, but where? Hmm... So is this more of just the same conversation? Elise? What is it, Rosemarine? I still haven't told you much about myself, but... I'll be outside in the granary if you want to talk more. I'll think about it, Rosemarine. I'm not thinking about it for a second, I'm coming there. <laughs> is this our date? Do I still have a chance with her? Because <laughs> I've gone on all the dates that I can with her so far, I think. Um, let's save the match. Eh, where is she? Oh, there she is. I knew you'd come about, Elise. You seem to know everything, don't you? Not at all, but feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Alright, well... Who is he? You said your granny used to tell you this folktale. He's a patron saint, Elise. He grants folks wishes for a heavy price. A heavy price, huh? He, whose name has been lost to time... Uh, is the game too loud, by the way? ...is a benevolent entity. It said he can grant folks wishes if they show him their resolve. Firstly, you ought to acknowledge his invitation to meet him. Shoes, I suppose. That's the only explanation. If you do, he will then welcome you to his trials. Trials? If you do clear them and show him your resolve by doing so, he will give you a testament. Alright. You will then have to use the testaments to craft him gifts. And go out into the woods, gifts in hand, on the night of a full moon, to summon him! Oh, that sounds... Yeah, sounds an awful like, like a cautionary tale. <laughs> Volume levels are fine. Okay, cool. Oh, but we're now finding out it's more than that, aren't we? I suppose. I'll have to find out for myself whether that's true or not. Alright, well, who are you? You haven't told me enough about yourself. Well, uh, I had to say... <gasps> I am a strong believer in fate, Elise. Fate, you say? I've dreamed about you, about Kiefer. Rosemary <sighs> Colt? Okay, there we go. Fixed itself. Alright. I've dreamed about you, about Kieferberg, your home, your shoes. Ever since I was born, I've known my fate was with you, Elise. I don't understand, Rosemarina. Those dreams were premonitions, I'm certain. They stopped the night I reached Kieferberg, which no can only mean that... That I'm currently living out my own fate. By your side, Elise. I find that very difficult to believe, Rosemarine. I know it all sounds very strange, but... My granny taught me everything I know, you see? About nature, about the cosmos, faith, and about the woodland. The woodland, you say? She told me all sorts of tales from the past. About our community, about its origins, and our patroness, Walperga. Rosemary, that's rather... Isn't it such a coincidence both our patronesses have the same name? It has to be fate, Elise! I'm not too sure about that. You see, some things had yet to make sense to me until recently. I didn't understand my own dreams for a long, long time. Or why I could sense, see, and feel things unspoken. Rosemary... My folks called us foul names, or my granny preferred to sleep under the stars most nights. Yet, it all fell into place, Elise, as she told me it would. Fate will guide you if you let it. All you have to do is trust your instincts. I suppose. Guess I'm gonna bust out the information DVD any second now. <gasps> hmm.
Golden Maiden. Just another girl with a wish. Doesn't everyone have a wish or two? Not all that meet him do. I was once what you'd call the good company, despite these red shoes. The object of her affections, I suppose. What are you talking about? I was forsaken in his den by the one I loved. Whoever you bring to keep him company, bear in mind this will be their fate. The good company. Hmm. Alright, uh... Anything else I need to do? Go to bed, or... Investigate the notes you found, or meet Freya at her house. Oh, that's later. Okay. Uh, oh, I have my hand in the wrong place. Outdoors is pretty cringe. I hate sleeping outdoors just because there's so many bugs. Gifts, huh? I best go to bed. I'll make sense of all this tomorrow. Ah, shit. Here we go. That face when my phone went to sleep. God. Alright. I also do not like bugs. Bleh. For goodness sake. I can't sleep! I can't stop thinking about all this nonsense! Nonsense. Wow. Pretty. Everything that old hag told me about the testaments, the gifts, about him... What Rosemary told me, too. I find it hard to believe, but maybe... Maybe it's true. If I do gather these testaments, if I do find my way to him... Maybe I can finally leave this wretched town and live the life I'm meant to live. Now that you mention it... Start anew. Someplace far, far away. This could very well be my chance for happiness! I ought at least try! I have to go to the woodland and find out! Right now! <laughs> you sure? I wanna go see Rosemary. Alright. Oh, the silence is deafening. Don't forget to turn on your lantern. Alright, that's 18, which is fine. Alright, let's go adventuring, I guess. Find your way to the woods. Uh, that's the grapevine path, the creek, crossroads. Perhaps it's at the crossroads. Hmm. Alright. Uh, out we go. Alright, let's make a save. We're at the crossroads. Alright. Let's not wander about too far. Is it that the whole point? Ugh. Where does it want me to go then? 
down here. Did we make it? The woodland. Here we are. Alright. I've seen scenes of this place in the trailers. I don't like this place. There's no music! I'm not controlling this. Let's see if what that old hag said is true. I have to at least give it a try. Woo! Hello! So this is the woodland. I ought to find him. I ought to be brave. Uh, be brave? Oh my god, this is something straight out of, out of uh, Madoka. Madoka Magica. <laughs> it's getting a movie next year. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, that is scary. What is this? What is this wretched place? I'd best be careful. This could be dangerous. <laughs> oh, this is very scary. Uh, okay, I don't think I want to get too close to those things. Uh, I don't really want to get close to that hand either! Uh, is there a safe here anywhere? These moths aren't going anywhere, are they? Uh, a candle holder. What is such a thing doing so deep in the woods? Looks like I might have to investigate this pile. <laughs> I've already come this far. It's too late to head back now. I must see this through. This got their attention, I suppose. I'd better be careful moving forward. I've never watched Madoka. Uh, it's something like this. Visually, at least. Even, even kind of. Like, thematically. Oh, matches. Oh my god, yeah, this feels like I'm playing um, Madoka Magica. This is very cool. Uh, does dress seem like another golden maiden? It might have been, actually. Let me go back and see. Now that you mention it, you're right. What in the... Have you met the witch? She's so very eager to meet you again, would you believe? Uh, the witch, you say? Your paths are bound to cross before long, but... I have my doubts you'll last long in the black wilderness. Uh, wait, what in the Lord's name? Alright. I would like a place to save, please. There's another golden maiden here. How do I get up there? What did? Here we go. Hmm. Can't reach it. Oh, this place is a fucking maze. I... I think 
I've got the hang of it now. A save! Now let me save! What in the Lord's name? There are so many. I have to find a way to distract them. All right. Might have to go all the way around, maybe. Right. I think I think uh, I think we're good. Living hollow coppice. All right. Let's get another candle holder. Ah. What's that? What did I get? A mushroom? He. Uh. What's this? Matches? Oh! Uh. Simply lighting it may not be enough. What do you mean it's not enough? Oh, we're, we're doing bad, bad. Healed up some. Simply lighting it may not be enough. So there's probably another one down here. Yeah. Alright, so I've lit it. Now I need to drag them over to it. I think I got enough of them off. Yeah, cool. God, the damage, yeah. Ugh, this is so unsettling. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Looks like a doe's remains. How do we get the Golden Maiden in the maze? Do we go back? We might have to. I've never seen such a thing before. The pristine skeletal remains of a doe, every bone barren of any kind of life. All right, let's uh, let's go back. Uh, we might have to hop down or something. All right, so where was it? It's down there. Um, hold on. I might have just screwed myself over. Uh, how did I get back up here? That's right. It was this way. So we go up here. And then here. Where is it? Here we are. Take heed! She's taking advantage of you! Who is? That creature! She goes hungry! It's you she wants, your flesh! The witch? Don't allow her to interfere with your wish. How would she interfere, exactly? Wait! Her interference, she says. Fancy kerchief. All right, our sanity has gone down a bit more. Might need uh, to get another thing of grape juice. All right, we're all the way back at the bottom. I don't remember how to get back up. It's okay, I figured it out once, I can figure it out again. There was an item down there, wasn't there? Hold on. Yeah, what's this? Mushroom? Wonderful. I feel like there was another one somewhere. Or was it just the one? No, it was just the one. Okay, we're all good then. Remember that Muffy wants the grape juice as well. I haven't forgotten. Um, I just need to be sure not to talk to her before I get it. That was the mistake I made last time. I think it was just Shroom and Maiden. Okay. Alright, let's make a save. Alright, 
up we go. Please pick it up. Matches. Wonderful. I've been spotting these scribbles scattered about. I haven't. Are these people? Engraved deep into the rocky surface are several familiar shapes reminiscent of human life. Maybe I've seen them and I just don't remember. I, I didn't have to make another save, but it's fine. There's more of them. More matches. Those aren't going anywhere. I must find a way to lure those butterflies off that carcass. Butterflies. Uh, is there anywhere I can leave them? Uh, I think I have to go past it. I think there's something... Alright, so that way I can't go, but I think this way I'm just gonna have to, like, give it a shot. Ah! Ooh, where is it? Ah! Shit. Oof, alright. Any healing items? Mushroom! Yeah! <laughs> Matches? Oh, more mushrooms! Oh, they knew. Alright. More butterflies. Is the best way to get past them just brute force? I wonder. They're devouring that thing, huh? Perhaps I can lure all those butterflies here to clear the path. There's no good way to do this, I think. Get you back up to good health, baby girl. I love you. Mm. Alright. There's gotta be a better way. I think there has to be as well, but I'm just not finding it. It's a skill issue on my part, and I recognize that. <laughs> Frightened, Elise. Come closer. No. Uh-uh. Bad. 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 Red flags. Red flag. Waving. Woo! That is scary. What is this? What in the Lord's name? You've done well to find your way into these woods. It's imperative. <laughs> Bar. It's imperative, Elise, that you listen to me closely. He is once more trying to take you away from me, but not for long. Take this basket now. You ought to gather the gifts in it, Elise. The gifts, you say? Find your way to him, deeper into this grove of mine. Only then may your wish come to fruition, my beloved. What is this? I will guide you to him, Elise. You ought to trust my word. Your precious wish will be safe with me. How am I to find him? You, Elise, are my kin. 
my triumph, my beloved progeny. What he's done to me is no matter. All I want is you. So is this whole family just, like, super fucked? Because, like, we have, um, we've got a lease with this whole thing going on. Um, it's implied that her mother did something fucked up, too. And then we had, um, the protagonist of Pocket Mirror, who, uh, without spoiling the game, um... Yeah. <laughs> I will allow him and his pets into my woodland once more. Aster plays a game with healthy family dynamics challenge. Impossible. Yeah, I'll never do it. <laughs> I will allow him to tempt you, to toy with you. What are you? Oh, for the greater good, my beloved, so that we can be reunited, so that I can bear life in my womb once more. Felt bad. I need to get out of here. Is she gonna chase me? So I can retrieve what's mine. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm fucked. Ah! I've run the wrong way. I have a. Where do I go? This way? Oh, I'm so fucked. Ah! I don't have any more healing items. Is this or nothing? Go, go, go! Ah! 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 No! <laughs> right. I know what to do at the um. I know what to do at the beginning now, though. That was. That was the big issue. I didn't- I didn't know which way to go through that, um, that big place. Alright, we have to listen to this whole fucking conversation again. This is a problem. No, it's fine. Um... What? Uh, I got, um... It's not letting me skip. What is this? Oh, I met the situation. Really pop should not be going through this. No. Ah, fuck. It's okay. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> Alright, this part is easy. Ah! Ah! Ruh -ruh. We're good, we're good, we're good. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Get up, get up, get up, go, 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 go. Woo! This is gonna be like the Lizette chase scene in Pocket Mirror. I spent like half an hour doing that shit. I'm. That death CG yikers. No, literally. I'm so sick of this damn cutscene. <laughs> what is this? What is this? The Lizette chases. See, here's the thing. Um, yeah, the, the the first one was like it it surprised me, but I was able to do it. It just took me a while. I'm not like this is objectively like an easy game. It just sucks that I only have three hearts. Because I also suck at the mini games. Oh, shit! Shut up, barn. 
<laughs> Woo! Ooh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, get up, get up! Bro! I got soft locked. Alright, no, I didn't get soft locked. That's not the word. Ah, fuck shit. Impact. Me when I get into a car crash. Fuck, 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 fuck. Go. Ah! I went the wrong way. Okay. I'm yeah, I'm running into the hands. That's the issue. Uh -huh. This is very fighting to listen to. Thank you, Syphilis. <laughs> oh. I'm so sick of this cutscene over and over. That's the most annoying part, because if it was just the chase, without like all of this shit in between, Hello, uh, Mr. MC. Uh, I'm trying to do a chase scene. Uh, I only played Pocket Mirror because the guy I was watching play it stopped at the Lizette chase and couldn't get past it. Oh, fuck. Wrong way! <laughs> All right, go, 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 go. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I can do it. It's gonna take me a hot minute, but I'm gonna do it. Alright? I cannot be stopped. Fuck. Go, go, go. Fuck! There's more? Come on, go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. This is a long-ass chase scene. I'm not controlling it anymore. <laughs> Woo! I did it! <sighs> Alright. Ah. I'm gonna get some tea. <clears throat> Are you tired of dying to the evils beyond your comprehension? Simply say no. The horrors cannot alter your mind without your consent. You're kind of right for that, though. Uh. Blah. The Liz it comes to think of it, the Lizette chase scene was like. It was a surprise, but it wasn't terribly difficult. That one did not take me. This one did not take me nearly as long as the Lizette chase. But then again. I played the Lizette Chase and recorded it when I was... What? I... What year was it? I want to say it was two years ago or so. <laughs> it's probably been longer. Man, it was probably about 15. Um, I managed to do it. The Lizette Chase scene was just weird with the imagery, honestly. It wasn't too bad. Uh-uh. I mean, it's, it's really scary to look at. Um, but I mean, also, like... <laughs> <laughs> when you when you're walking through a random hallway and the fucking save menu opens it's like that's when you know that some shit is gonna go down <laughs> I have not forgotten uh, that one yeah that, that one was like the the big like maze in the second part was the was the hardest part the rest of it was decently easy just fuck it and run 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 I mean the first part was uh what, what, what's the word? Um, like, like the, uh, it's like try, try it out. Uh, test, test and repeat. To, uh, fuck. Uh, trial and error. Fucking hell. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Press a button to run icon. Yeah. <laughs> Press shift to run. Like. <laughs> That shit's kind of funny, but... Alright. What in the Lord's name? What was that thing? Keep it together, Elise. I need to get a grip and go hold to Rosemary. Unlocked gifts menu. Huh? Alright. Carrier of life. Find the basket in the witch woods. We are not doing so hot, like, at all. 
Uh, I wonder if Levkuhen's uh, bakery is. Oh, it's just flock. Flock! Flock! What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you'd be in the granary or out and about. Goodness, I don't feel so good. What is it, Flock? I don't like the way he's staring at me. What are you? Please. <laughs> Marine? What are you doing here? Flock. It's back to normal. I was out on a walk. This late at night? What is it, Flock? I thought for sure he was a demon. <laughs> uh, come, let's go home, Rosemarine. I don't want to stay here a minute longer. Oh, but I... Wait! We are not doing so hot, like, at all. I wish sleeping recovered our health. Morning already. Health and hunger is not good. Yeah, really bad. I suppose I really did go to the woodland, didn't I? I don't know what to think of all that, but both Rosebreen and the old hag, neither were lying, it seems. I had to put my pulse, pull myself together. It's best I head out to work for now. I'll lose my wits if I keep. <laughs> Rosemarine and Flock. What are they doing out there? Yeah, I, there are sparkles on the dresser, but I tried investigating it and nothing happened. Oh, uh, what? Collected fireflies four. <laughs> is there any bread? This heartbeat thing is gonna get real annoying real fast. I don't think we have literally anything. Yeah, no, we don't have anything at all. It may sell for a reasonable price. Oh, something to sell. All right, uh, we're going out first. Doubloons, riches, money. All right. <laughs> you two are always making merry, huh? Good morning, Elise. Aww. Rose and is <laughs> your wife. She is dying. Fe oh, feed your wife. That's what you mean. There we go. Good morning to you too, flock. I picked some mushrooms this morning, Elise. We can have them for breakfast. I... Say, Rosemarine, you put Flock away in the granary last night, right? Aye, of course. Of course, I think he's taken a liking to it, too. I always leave the door a little ajar, just in case. I see. Please. Is everything all right? You seem to be on edge last night, too. Uh... It's nothing, Rosemarine. I just... I had strange dreams, is all. I know you went to the woods, Elise. I'm sorry, I... You don't have to tell me about it, but... You know now, don't you? That I'm speaking the truth? Please. Anyhow, come along. Let's head to work. You're taking me to town? <laughs> we have to stick to our story, don't we? Come now, let's head to town. Oh, wait for me! Alright. So is there anything that we can eat in the house first? Is there any food in this house? No. Uh, anything in the garden? This heartbeat noise is getting really annoying. <laughs> Uh, she said she picked mushrooms. Are they in her inventory? No. Mm, 
to make a save. Life force, life force. <laughs> Elise quieted her heartbeat for the cutscene so Rosemary wouldn't worry. Elise collapsed soon after it was over. Alright. <laughs> the fucking heartbeat! <laughs> Elise, I was wondering, and please don't get angry with me. Out with it, Rosemary! I was looking around and I found an old blanket for Flock. What blanket? Uh, the one you had tucked away in the pantry? Oh, that's fine. I was going to use it as a dust rag anyhow. You thought I'd be mad about that? Oh, I didn't mean... You live here now, Rosemary. You're so fond of that goat, too. There's not much I can do about it, even if I wanted to. Oh, Elise. It's not that big a deal, for goodness sake. Alright. Let's go to the bakery. She's going to be like, what the fuck? Why do you look like that? Man, it's hard to concentrate on the nice music when you have the sound of death pervading. I'm gonna lurk now, but thanks as always for streaming. Thank you for watching! If it's just a flesh wound, may I trouble you for some bread? Please give me food. I am very unwell. I am in fact... Sick. Fuck. <laughs> I'll get all the uh, dialogue with Rosemary um, once I'm um, once I get rid of this fucking noise Ugh. allocate your resources wisely I'm not good at that shit <laughs> food I'm buying. Anything else? I'm selling. Whoa! For 30! I'm buying. Mm, the left hand's not worth it. Alright. Now we're broke! See ya, Granny. Dear God, Elise, what happened to you? Yeah. Alright. All right, the wilt, the grape juice is for that Gorley, Melissa. <laughs> how much is fifty? Oh, that's the thing. I don't know. I can't tell how much of the gauge that is. All right, we need more healing items. Rosemary, and would you like to give me those cute little mushrooms you said you got this morning? At least refusing to say Muffy's name, right? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Where is everyone? Oh, do folks usually gather here? I wonder if something happened. Oh, Rutro. Right, right. Come now, Rosemary. We must find out what's going on. Question mark? There's people here. Oh, Elise! Miss Yukin's horses got stolen. Uh oh. Is this true, Miss Mario? I'm not a liar, Elise. Yes, I'm afraid it's true. Everyone's acting strange, Elise. It's natural, my dear. This isn't something to take lightly. I even heard some folks say they were hagridden. Hagridden? 
You shouldn't, sp mm, you shouldn't spread such nonsense about town, Groon. But Oriokin said the, the horses were stolen by the witch. Oh, for goodness sake. Poor lad couldn't be more heartbroken. For good reason. Go on now, I'm looking after the children for the time being. Alright. Let's see. Another time paradox. Uh, time paradox. I don't think that's a thing. It's our favorite Gorlies. Ah, Elise, Rose and Marine. Oh my god, we have a polycule. I mean, it's not really a polycule. It's more of a love square. <laughs> Good morning, Freya, Lipkuhen. You've heard, I'm assuming? About Mr. Yugen's horses? Oh, it's been awful. Everyone's been on edge. Folks don't know what to do with themselves. For good reason, I'd say, but... Mr. Yugen was so invested in his business, too. Oh, y'all could fooleries in helping anyone, I can already tell. They were hag-ridden. Something tells me you know what that means. Lebkuhen! Uh, of course, it's when... Oh, she wouldn't know, Lebkuhen! <sighs> I'm saved! Hmm, <laughs> I suppose not. It's a pyramid because it's three-dimensional in Elise's at the top. <laughs> That's true. I think I'll take a look about town. Better be careful, Elise. Folks are getting rather nervous about this. I get it, Lebkuhen. I'll be careful not to rile them up. Alright. I want to go to the scene of the crime. Uh, hmm. People really like the non-girlfriend. I also like the non-girlfriend. Lebkuhen's very cute. What do you sell here? Matches, bandages, Spriced worst. Ooh, healing items. We have some here. What? Holy shit! All right. Yo, turkey. <laughs> All right. Um, well, we've we've got plenty of matches. It's fine. Yeah, that's all. Alright, I just I just wanted to check the stock. So they have um They have here, they're not the bakery, so I'll start coming here. Alright, um let's talk to everyone. How to let them know, aren't we, Marvin? If this is about the horses. It goes further than that, Elise. Whoever took Yugen's horses broke into the pigsty. Took our pig, saddled him like a horse, and locked him in the stables. Jeez. Wow, well, prank, that's what this is. I need folks to know Bernhard had nothing to do with this. All of Kieferberg's knows you would never do such a thing, Marlin. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that. We'll see where this takes us, I suppose. Thank you, lass. What in the Lord's name is going on? I wouldn't know about that, Dorothea. Oh, there you are, you too. You can always ask, ask Elise. Ask me about what? Oh, but before we do, have you heard? About Miss Hugin's horses, I know. Oh, the poor lad. I think my father's name is compromised, too. Mr. Bernhardt's? Someone put one of the horse's saddles on one of my father's pigs, at least. It's a sick joke, that's what it is. Sounds like it from what I'm hearing. They do not give her a route because it's the, the devs fear of the older woman route. Mmm. <laughs> oh, at least you're leaving Kieferberg, aren't you? Maybe one day, but are you? We've been discussing the idea, as a matter of fact. Well, how could this happen to us? Uh, are these the men in question? Taking Yukin's horses was too cruel. I wonder who could do such a thing. Poor lad was just getting his business started too. Hard to believe he'd provoked any kind of ill will. I doubt any of our townsfolk could do such a thing. I agree. I've heard Lisbeth's girls aren't doing so well either. All right, we'll go have a look. Ah, uh, good day. All right, all of this seems like fluff. Um. All right. How did they get their wheat to grow this tall, I wonder? Oh, I thought we could take some. <laughs> I was like, we can make our own bread! Oh, here's the event. Hmm. You two have heard, I'm sure. Oh, wrong button. We have. Though, we're trying to figure out what happened. I'm ruined, that's what happened. <sighs> As I said before, you again, we will do all we can to help. We'll gather the lads and send them out to patrol the outskirts. Are we absolutely certain they were stolen? 
Hmm. About that, Elise. These horses were Hagrid, and I tell you. Ah, shut the fuck up. I tell you, Lathers, a witch in Kieferberg! Right, even if they were Hagrid, and. It's still a sad day for Mr. Yugen, old Johan. This isn't the time. I also like the different body types. I also like how, um, there's a one dude with a big mustache. He's really hairy. I like that, too. I ask you to try not to try folks' patience, old Johan. Or anyone else's, for that matter. Hey, suspicion down. We're so good at this. Which or no witch, folks. Yeah, this dude, like, I like his muscles and his big, um, mustache. And also his hair on his chest. Very charming. Someone had to do and no two ways about it. Gustav is his name. Now the men are grizzled and some are super ugly, but all the women are gorgeous because Elise has eyes for women. That as much as a trotter and nay. All there was when I got here this morning was Bernhard's pig in a saddle. Don't roll me into this, lad. I already told you I had nothing to do with it. Who am I to blame then, the witch? Hmm. Let's keep calm now, folks. <sighs> Can't pulp fault the poor lad for it, can we, folks? Finn, Guido, and I will take a look around the outskirts. I'll go with you, Gustav, and we should ask Yugen if he'd like to join us, too. Is there any way we can help, Mr. Gustav? Keep folks calm, Elise, and go about your day as you usually would. Leave it to us, lads. We'll get to the bottom of this. Folks truly are on edge today. Ought to be careful with what I say about town. I think I'm being pretty sensitive in that regard, so we should be okay. Let's go see if we can find Freya, because we're going on a date today. Oh, hello. What's this? Toy horse. Are uh, What does that do? Could be sold for some change. All right. Locked, I suppose. It's not like I make my own bread. I don't need to get in here. We totally could, though. Wait, can you pet the dog in Little Goody Two Shoes? No. Is this a horror game? Yes. Horrible game. Negative 100 out of 10. <laughs> So, meet Rosa and Ramina at the co- <gasps> What? Date with Rose Marine! Oh god. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Dulceul. Life or Rose Marine? <laughs> oh, this is a tough choice. Uh, Muffy. I saw that shit. Folks are starting to get ready for this festival. Rose and Marine, of course, obviously. That's the obvious choice. Hello, Freya. All right, we'll go on the date with Freya later. Um, Actually, wait, hold on. So, time for work, play kiss the rat with the kids or help Elma with the apples or go on a date with Rose Marine. Uh. Does Muppet just pop out of nowhere? <laughs> I like how we're all in the joke. Uh, yeah, she kind of does. Yeah, there she is. I see you! Muffy. It's you! Rose and Marine, of course, but also money. Ugh, money. <laughs> pretending not to see me, were you? For goodness sake, Maggie, I don't have time for this. Give me the great juice, Elise. I didn't have breakfast today, so... Oh, that's it. I'm telling your auntie you're begging for food again. <laughs> oh, but, but, but I'm not b -b -b begging, Elise. I saw you You have a goat now. Why am I not allowed to have a goat? <laughs> Golly, Elise, you're dirt poor. How would you get your hands on a goat? I see we have an understanding, Elise. Now, pass the grape juice or this is someone's getting an earful. Grape juice. For goodness sake. Here you go, you glutton. Dare tell anyone about that wretched goat, and I swear I'll. Boy, oh boy. 
Gee, you're so generous, Elisa. I can't believe this is working. I would have started blackmailing you a lot sooner if I... Out of my sight, Mindy. Bring me some love cuhan tomorrow, won't you? Go away. She's gonna work me like a donkey at this rate. Uh, I think we need the money. Uh, but Rose and Marine. Mm, I really want to see it. Money is temporary, girlfriend is eternal. But also, we're not doing well right now. We only have like half health and half um, half hunger. Earbuds have cursed me, so I continue to watch Muted Oh, it's alright. Uh, yeah, so I mean, uh. So we don't need to keep the pretzels anymore. She'll tell us what she wants the next day. So we can get a Lebkuhen. Um, we'll probably die when we go out into the woods, though. You'll get more hearts if you go on a date, source. Trust me, bro. <laughs> um, so... What we can do, also, is, um... I've been saying this whole time that I want to do Freya, but, like, I'm gonna be so real with y'all, I want to do Rosemarine. Um, so we have the date with Rosemarine now. I think... We could... Because I think we've gone on all of the dates that we can with Rosemarine, so I'm gonna save in a different file. And I'm gonna skip out on Freya's date today. We're gonna go with Rose and Marine instead and we're gonna work over Freya's date. I'm so sorry, baby. Oh, that's a woman. I thought that was, I thought that was a beard. I was like, huh? I mean, yeah, women can have beards, but still. I was like, oh, be goody. There she is! I'll spend some time with her! Elise! I'm so glad you came, Elise! Anything to get me out of that rat hole! I think I have to deal with those folks all day! <laughs> I can lend you a hand, Elise, whatever you need! But aside, Rosemarine, what was it you wanted to show me? Uh, th th this is somewhat embarrassing, but. Look at this, Elise. A pine cone? That's what she wanted to show me? Uh, it, it's more important than you think. This pine cone is my treasure, Elise. Huh? Granny gave it to me when I was little. Your granny, huh? I understand how she feels, I suppose. Sorry, but... We're just the same as this pine cone, Elise. For how am I the same as a pine cone, Rosemarine? Promise there's proper meaning to what I'm saying. All right, all right. Our time here in this realm is rather limited, isn't it? Now that you mention it, I suppose. You see how the pine cone is covered with scales? If you think of it as yourself and your life up until this moment, you can understand how each scale represents something, right? I see. Your experiences and dreams and the things you hold dear, all those things are just the same as the scales on this pine cone. There are times when one falls off or gets damaged, and you don't feel as whole anymore, but... You learn to be without it, and find that losing one doesn't that mean... You mention it. ...that you'll lose all the others. <sighs> this pinecone is the representation of my past! <laughs> this is so cute! <laughs> it represents you, Elise. I've been meaning to tell you all about it for so long! All oh, these scales represent the path I've taken to reach you! This is crazy! She's like, I exist for your sake! <laughs> and now that I'm by your side, I feel a whole like never before! You see what I mean, don't you, Elise? I do, I do! Oh, I'm so glad I could finally tell you about it! Flock is one of these scales too! Did you know that he's... Breathe, Rosemarine! You make me whole, Elise! That's... That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> oh, 
don't get flustered, I'll get flustered too. Oh, uh, come now, we ought to head back to town. Uh, uh, before we do, Elise, won't you meet me at the viewpoint tomorrow morning? All right, all right. I'll be spending all my time with you at this rate. Good. Uh, if you're too busy, then. For goodness sake. Rose Marine. Oh, wait, I... wait, Elise. Whee! <laughs> Historians will say they were very good friends. Also, Elise, I'm a little pissed off at you. Why did you cut off my love, Rosa Marine? She was about. Um, fuck. What the hell? Oh, my, uh, my dad dropped off something in here a couple minutes ago. Let me go see what it is. Hold on. I thought it was food. But no, it was not food. Ah, uh, alright. Alright, uh, so I made a separate save because, uh, oh, I should get my notebook, actually. Uh, okay. Alright, it's Tuesday afternoon. I don't know why I'm getting a physical. Uh. I just need to write down the saves somewhere. Uh. Alright, we're not loading anything. I just want to see them. Alright. Six and seven. I just wanted to write down that, like, we're going on the Rosen route now. I, I can't deny my heart. <laughs> I love purple little moon girls. Alright, let's 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 go to work. What are the jobs today? Meet Freya at her house. I'm so sorry, baby. Uh, help Bertha chop some wood and help Dorothea with the ch- Oh, fuck the chickens. Let's go chop some wood. The chickens were stupid hard to do. Oh, hello. Out with it, Mandy. I swear I didn't need it, Auntie. Help me out here, Elise. Tell Molly to give me back the cheese she took. A cheese, Mrs. Roloy? But, but, but I didn't take anything, Auntie. I... It's spoiled, Macy. For goodness sake, I can't let you eat that. Oh, but, 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 but if I only eat a little bit. So you have to take it. You Give it back right this instant. Let her eat it, Miss Lorelai. She'll learn a lesson. Not a chance, Elise. She already mucks about all day. I says I can't let her get ill. I'm not mucking about, Auntie. What would you say you're doing then? Why, I'm making sure we can eat all this cheese. For goodness sake. I would have started blackmailing you. Oh, hi, baby. Why is she hiding? Huh, Elise, I was meaning to tell you. Uh, what now? Is everything all right, Elise? Oh, with it, Rosemary. What happened? I saw a birdie hopping about is all. Oh, for goodness sake. Maya, you're on edge today, Elise. I know, Rosemarina. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. I'll make certain I get us some more mushrooms for supper tonight. Cool. Thank you. All right, so she's not with us in the party right now, so... Uh... Where is... All right, shit. Wrong button. Uh... Dorothea and her chicken- uh, is it here? There it is. Oh, I know, I don't want the chickens. Collect some eggs. I'm so sorry. I don't have the time right now. That's alright, don't you worry. Alright, uh... Yeah, fuck the chickens. I'm not... It's at the stables. Am 
I in the right place? I think I've gone too far. Oh, there she is. All right, Miss Bertha. Since you asked so nicely for once, get to it. Uh, do you need Rose and Marine's help? It'll cost you two extra. Ah. Uh... No, we need to save. We need to save the. We have no money. With this one, at least, it should be easy. Oh, they asked Freya to chop it for them instead. I managed to get an A on this by myself, so we should be okay. I forgot the controls. Okay. Chop and kick. Wonderful. Thank you for reminding me, game. <laughs> I kind of want to see Rose and Rain's sprite. One. Go. Fuck. Go ah! Fuck. Oh, I might get a B rating. Ah, this rate! I can't talk. Ugh. Oh wait, forty-one is good. That's still. Uh, never mind. Uh, do we have any money to retry? Just enough. A B is 30. We're getting 35. Five more is worth something. I'm not going to commentate this time. I started being like, oh, if I don't commentate, it'll be boring. But then I started sucking at the fucking game. Fuck. Fuck. That was still a better score than last time. Score? 48! Come on, A. Yeah! Alright. We win. Hmm? No. Are there? Can y'all hear the game? There's no game sound. That's weird. Are there? Show me user time. Oh, you can have this. Thank you. All right, that's really weird. Why isn't the game sound working? Uh, I will uh, shut the game and put it back up. Hold on. All right, let's find a save. 
Hopefully I don't run into any events on the way. <laughs> Ah, fuck. Uh, hold on. Mm? That's so weird. I wonder, hold on, if I like switch scenes. I don't need my per uh -huh. That's so weird. All right. Um, I don't want to close the game because then I'm going to lose all the... Like, I haven't saved since the date with Rosenmarine. Um, I'll go through this scene and then I'll... Um, I'll probably end the stream, actually. It's been almost four hours. <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry about the audio issues. All right. Horseshoes scattered about, you say? Found them just past the logging grounds, but why in the Lord's name would anyone want to remove horseshoes? I wouldn't want to lend way to old Yawkins' nonsense, but wake up, lads! They were hag written, I tell you. This isn't the time, old Yawkin. We must keep calm. Thank you for your time today, lads. I'll be moving along now. I've had enough of wandering about. Never seen him so disheartened, I must say. To think you lads didn't even find a trace. We looked everywhere, Mrs. Marlin, the peaks, the lake, Heinrich, and Tristan even followed the path to Primaldorf. We ought to give it another try first thing. Ah, oh, shit. I found it! I found it! I found the horse! It's right outside! What are you saying, Maggie? It's the truth! It's lying on the ground! Is it alive? Take us to it, Lassie. Ooh. That is... that is a dead horse. My word! Oh, the poor thing. Good grief, it's nearly dead! What do you make of it, Yugen? He's exhausted. I'd say he ran here by the looks of it. No, that can't be. We've only just made it back. We would have found him or heard him or... I must say I'm at a loss, lads. There were hag written no two ways about it. Look at it! Gasping for breath! Ew, look at its eyes! Wait, it's breathing. Keep calm, old Johan. Think you can nurse him back to health, Yugen? I'm taking you back to the stables right now. I'll lend a hand, Yugen. You fools ought not to touch that horse. Lord knows what the witch has done to it. Come now, lads, let's go fetch him some water. He must have broken free from wherever he was being kept, I suppose. Broke off the reins and ran back to Kieferberg, I can't think of. Nonsense, Birdheart! I'll have it said right here, right now, folks! Best you show some restraint, old Johan, this isn't. Old Stefan warned us about this! Oh, not this old Stefan nonsense again, you old fool! Actually, let me try something. Mm. Ah, that didn't seem to fix it. Alright. Oh, not this old Stefan nonsense again! We need to keep calm, folks. Arguing about this won't. Have you no memory of his words, Hans Gustav? He spoke of the ill fortune we'd have of the witch, of folks' livelihood slipping through their fingers. Old Stefan was a tormented lad on his deathbed, old Jochen. There's worse to come, folks. Mark my words. What are we to do with him, father? Just wait for him to tire himself out. That's all we can do. Come, folks. Let's head back to town. And Gustav just walks around looking like that. <laughs> Things are starting to get a little out of hand, aren't they? Alright, please let me save so I can shut the game. Little goody two-shoes. Alright. Cool. Save! Save your progress. 
Yes. All right. Ah. Sorry for the audio issues at the end, but um, all in all, good stream, fun. Almost four hours. It was very long. Um, thank you all so much for coming. Um, I will see you all again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.